Let me double check that this one should be starting at 18 hours. Yep. All right. I have a couple notes on what I need to do first. <laughs> Some of them are in all caps and they just say fix this thing <laughs> because I made so many factory mistakes and then the nice thing about segmenting uh, is not so much getting to redo it. That part is nice, um, but it gives you kind of time in a sandbox to to discover all the things that you've messed up and then you can write down notes for yourself and be like, all right, I, I know I need to fix one foundry. I need to grab specific resources, overflow certain things so that the factory can like stay alive and I can focus on doing it rather than looking confused. So we're going to get right into it. We're not doing package percent warm up. We're just going straight into it. It's definitely not because you're here, Zing. <laughs> Okay. Woo! Do I have belts? I do. How many? Great. Case in point, I'm gonna go fix the supercomputers. Uh, goal for the day is probably to- Oh, it's definitely to unlock all of the milestones. Get those out of the way. And beyond that, I want to get all of the project parts building. Though, maybe not necessarily at 100%. Alright. Boop! <laughs> Felt like an idiot when I saw that one. Okay. So I need to go get some some materials. So I think do I have rotors? Uh, I could use more. Um, I'm good on those. It's top up. Cable, yes. Uh, though I can definitely make more. Uh, oh, I'm fine on wire actually. Do I need copper sheets? Uh, I'm gonna grab them anyway. I can get these when I arrive. The first thing I need to do is up the automated wiring because we are not going fast enough. Um, right now, I'm producing, well, I am trying to produce four, uh, sorry, nine ACUs per minute, but we don't make enough automated wiring for that. So that's the first task is finding a good spot. There we go. I'm gonna split that off. And that, just to stop the bleeding and get as many heavy modular frames as we can. So, here, let's do this. And then overflow. But yeah, hopefully by the end of the stream we'll have something stable that is making all the project parts and then... From there on, the only goal that we have is to make them faster. I think there's a good chance, I was doing a little bit of napkin math, I think there's a good chance that I can, uh, let's see, you can have those. I can finish everything by, by 30, maybe. It, it would be really tough, but I think it can be done. Uh, okay, we're gonna grab concrete. I think I've gotten everything I need. Maybe I'll grab more of these just to be safe. Not as fast as a hypertube cannon, but faster than a car, and way easier to set up than a hypertube cannon. Oh, I also need to fix my aluminum stuff, actually. Speaking of small things that I did wrong. Okay, let's see, so I'm pretty good on belts. Uh, might need more steel pipes. Rotors should be okay, though I really should have topped that off to 300. Cable's fine. And I can also produce most of these where I am. Boop. These make 360 a minute, and having a Mark III belt is just strictly not fast enough. 
Silly me. Okay, so that should get us... Uh, not double. We go from 270 to 360. What is that? 25% speed improvement. Doing some rudimentary testing for an explorer race course and realize there are shockingly few jumps that explorers and runners can't both choose. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, let's see. We'll fill up on that. Now, another thing, actually, I'll do it now, is that I don't need this many belts right now because the bigger challenge is getting enough aluminum casings. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch that up as well. Oh. Not enough space? Oh. I don't know where the things for this one were, but that's okay. All right, let's bump this up. This is slightly more efficient for the aluminum, so uh, the only downside is that it means I have to pause, I think, two of those, because I'm taking out 180 per minute there, which, uh, which means that I need to make up for it with 120. Yeah, so that should be okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I think these are all yeah, okay. This should be speeding up now. Great. Let's make some automated wiring. I'm gonna basically double this floor as it is. Oh, I also need to make more copper for this, I forgot. Uh, did I accidentally pipe some sheets down the casing line while I was changing the recipe? Uh, I don't think so. Because the way that I switched the recipe was I switched the belts first. Oh! That is possible, actually. Do I, uh... <laughs> do I just reset to be safe? I don't want to go back and check. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, warm up! <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's reopen the splits file so it gets the right start time. <laughs> uh, thank you. Alright, take two. This is why no amount of practice is enough. Uh, game crashed. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Continue! Oh, well, let's uh, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the splits there. Alright. Okay, let's go fix that foundry for supercomputers. Yeah, disconnect belts, change recipe. Easy peasy. I uh, forgot about the steel pipes, though. You gotta reroute those to my heavy modular frames as well. But I do appreciate it. Boop. Alright. I'm also gonna go ahead and make the power shards now just to free up the space. Okay, so we're gonna want to top this off, uh, as well as that. Uh, okay, I'll just do 300 even. That many should be fine. I'm gonna actually get rid of this stack. And I think maybe I'll grab one more stack of rotors, just in case. We... 
Whoa, there we go. Let's go ahead and just grab full stack, though. Oh, I was also going to make some extra rubber storage, but that's actually not super important to do yet. Alright, let's go fix the ingots. <laughs> this might be a good spot for an explorer if I can fit it. Though I don't have the motors. Ooh, I'm gonna want motors at one point. But I don't think I need them here. Yeah, so, current game plan. We're gonna get all this set up. We're gonna get... I think 80 is what I'm estimating for automated wiring. Uh, once I go do that, I'm gonna go up the plastic and rubber so that we can... We're about to run out of our extra buffer on supercomputer and turbo motor rubber, and we're gonna need a lot more. So I'm gonna need to make a decent amount of extra rubber out by the Spire Coast. May it rest in peace. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna belt that all on back home and get to work on fused modular frames. Oh, which does remind me of another fix I need to make. Uh, the nitrogen factory is broken. I only have one packager working right now, even though I built eight. <laughs> In terms of new content, how close is advanced aluminum production to the end of the game? I'm trying to see if I can convince a friend to start playing again with, un with update six in the works. Uh, I'd say it's it's getting kind of close, though. It's not it's not end game. It, it's definitely like close, though. Okay, so we're gonna switch this. Uh, I'm gonna remove that, and oh, we're just gonna accept that we're gonna eat the cost. Okay, you pause, you pause. Okay, so we're down 60 each. One, two, three. Four, and we'll still be getting plenty of copper, so that's no problem. Uh, okay, these are all going... Oh, need to up that, and that, and that. Uh, reconnect the belts, thank you. <laughs> the pro streamer mood continues! Good, yep, okay, cool. And then let's just, we don't need this many. 400 should be fine. All right. Fortunately, we have more than enough offer. Because I think we can go up to, oh, we are gonna have to upgrade this though. Is that not maxed? Alright, we're gonna have to max that as well. Okay, and then let's up this as well. In order to support, we're gonna be making like eight. Uh, they only need 25 each, so, so this should be okay. Let's go ahead and get this. Power slug. Okay. Okay. <clears throat>
Oh, I didn't grab a whole lot of concrete. <clears throat> That's a solvable problem, though. I needed to speed this up anyway. Go ahead and make this power shard. Free up a little space. And just for funsies, I think I'm gonna speed these up for a little bit. Just so I get all the concrete that I'm gonna need. There you go. Okay. Okay, that's a Mark III already. Cool. Three, four, five, and six per side. Four, five, six. In the meantime, while we wait for concrete, let's go ahead and get some more Caterium. I guess the one the one question I would pose is, would you not con uh, Zing, would you not consider telling your friend to start playing if there's a new update because you don't want them to start with content and in the Spire Coast and have to like redo it? Or I guess what's your what's your concern here? I never configured. I think the rest are good. Yep, okay. Uh, so I've made now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think I can go to 12. And if not, then I will. <laughs> Worst case scenario is it's just not efficient. full-time Minecraft content creator, so there has to be a good reason to play any other video game. Ah, I see. You know, while I'm here, uh, I don't have concrete, so I'm going to need to get more copper in a little bit, but it's not urgent yet. That's the one reason I don't want to be a full-time content creator, though, is when when the gaming decisions I make are based solely on whether I can, like, survive on it. It's, yeah. I want to have fun. Okay, let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and make a little conveyor lift. Fairly, yeah. If they like Minecraft, then yeah, that's that's fair.
We get the rest of them. All right, we did. Nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna want this for later. Okay, there we go. And let's configure this side as well. Hello, there we go. <laughs> Okay, and now we just need to make however many constructors this turns out to. So each group of six is going to go into a group of <coughs> three, or each group of two goes into a group of three, which means that we're looking at nine per side. Okay. Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. I'll have to get more in a minute. Fine. Let's just grab this. Why not? Each group of nine makes 270, that means in total two rows, which is what I'm going to be making, uh, makes me 200, uh, 540, which we can easily fit into two conveyor belts. So we're going to do that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that two? Nope. Okay, we're going to be making 12 assemblers for automated wiring. 12 going at 50 per minute is 6 going at 100 per minute, which is 600 per minute. So there we go. That's going to be a total of... So if we're looking at 18 times 30 is 540. We're going to need 60 more per minute. Fortunately... Oh, that reminds me. I think one of these belts is a... Yeah, that should have been a mark not one. 600 per minute is a nice number, 10 per second. I agree. 
That means we only need two of these uh, constructors, but we might as well grab all three. Otherwise it just gets more complicated. Let's go ahead and do it there. Alright, get some more concrete. We're almost there. Good enough. Let's three, four, five. Can we fit another one on the side? I think we can. Six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're looking at 12 times two and a half per minute, six times five per minute, 30 per minute of stator. Let's drop them on over here. Uh, that's 24, we're gonna make four of these. We're doing quick wire stator again. Because it's easy. Each one of these one's 16 per minute, which means we're looking at 64 per minute field pipes, which is three and a half, so we'll make four because it's very easy to make four. So each one gets a foundry. Wow. Okay, now for these twelve. We end up having three groups of four. Uh, this one. And this group. Figure these two so they can start accepting cable. Okay. Great, and then each of these is gonna serve three. Eight per minute, yep. Easily go into. I okay, said stator's not, uh, did I? Uh, you're right, thank you. That would explain why the recommended items was being the way that it was. Coach, coach surge added again. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and get our quick wire constructors as well. I'm gonna put them in this direction. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 
I got it. Okay, 20 per minute. Each of these is going into... Uh, it's going to be a little bit weird. You know, I just have each go into one. Never mind. That's a nice side effect. Okay, great. So now we got all those steel pipes. And yeah, we got all the cables, so these should start working soon. Let's go ahead and set up the finale belt. Grab some concrete, though. Alright, we're now moving at 20 times 2.5, uh, 50 per minute, but we're going to need more. So let's grab some more concrete. Well actually, first before we get more concrete, do we have enough to make a belt? We do. We're going to need more sheets though. One thing I like most about all clad sheets is that they are super plentiful. Like I've been working at a with a less than a hundred I've been working at like a 75% factory, right? And I'm still like doing pretty darn well for belts. Despite using a bunch. So I'm realizing now I should have built and built and building a belt, uh, but we'll just do it when I come back. Because we're using so little over here. Alright, so if I recall correctly, this is doing 120 per minute, going into 120 per minute. Okay, that's perfectly fine. That means that whatever we bump this up to, like 300, we get an extra 180 per minute out of. Now, hmm, I forget how many I was going to do, but let's do a full set of, or let's just do three. It's probably going to be fine. 300 copper per minute, hopefully it's going to be enough. And then we gotta get iron. Let's make sure that these are working. What's going on here? Oh my god. What's happening here? That's going into one. 
No. The conspiracy. <laughs> there we go. So that's been going at not 100% too. Glad I checked, actually. I never thought to. Okay. That should be fine, though. And that's pause just because there's so many. We're low on iron rods, but we're not going to be using that many from here on out. It's not until we get back. And then this... I think this does 120, right? Because it's a normal? Yep. Great. Alright, there we go. Let's turn these on. per minute. And we're going to turn these into more staters. So let's grab some more concrete and work on our third floor, or third section. I guess it doesn't have to be another floor, really. That should hopefully be enough concrete, but just to be safe, I'll, I'll let it continue accumulating. We've got three more of these guys. Here's the challenge. If we're going to be making 12 more, uh, but this is going to be normal staters, so what is this one? Uh, we want 12 times... Oh wait, we just need one for each two, so we'll need six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then in total for steel... Pipes, each one's gonna take 30, so 60, 45, or 60, 90, so we'll want five constructors. Okay, two, three, four, five. And I don't think we need to make a sixth. But I might as well do that. You know, we could easily do quick wire staters. What am I talking about? Because we can just make the steel pies. Alright, silly me. That makes this part easier. In fact, I could maybe even do more fused wire. I don't remember how much I'm using at this point. So let's see. We're using. That's not it. This is it. 12 times 4, 48 plus 3 times 12, uh, plus 48, alright, 84 times 2, okay, and then times 3, okay, so we're already using pretty much all of our criterium. Uh, and if we don't pick it up to 60, I don't think we'll quite, okay, that's fine though. Just means we'll have to do a little bit of... Hmm. I guess that does mean that I can't do quick wire staters again, can I? So we need another uh, 84 times, or plus another 48, 132. Oh, 
Oh no, I can do that. I think I really messed up the numbers there. that I'm finally starting to get to late game because the frame rate is suffering a bit. Kinds of the conspiracy, yes. You're so correct. Alright. Let's go get some more concrete. Every time I hear this song now, I just think of the four package run. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and oh. I don't need all this. Okay. And then we're gonna do group four. Oh no, that's right. Okay. Group of four. some of those too. Actually, no, that's a lot easier. Boop. So now for these, uh, we're going to need a total of, how much was it, 600 per minute of cable? Alright Zing, have safe travels. Hey, I think in total we'll need to get ourselves, we... Okay, so fortunately that's easy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's gonna be 300. 
so we'll need to go to 20 and then easy peasy. Uh, oh, I remember how I was going to do this now. this cable. Oh, I fixed the other one. Okay, the others are good though. Let's go ahead and just rip this out. Easy concrete. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We gotta go to twenty. I'm just gonna rip out most of this. Fun fact: uh, I'm using the mouse button. I have a mouse button. I think it's by default. There's a mouse button bound to basically only mass dismantle the type of thing that you started with the mass dismantle with. So, because I started with a foundation, it just automatically selects to only let me dismantle foundations when I hold that button. Alright, let's get 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right when a single button, yeah, right? All you have to do is hold it down, too. No advanced mechanics required. plates here just to make sure that I stay a tiny bit light on the Mark 6 belts. At this point I should also begin setting up the splitters because this is going to take a while. I'm going to be doing them in serial. Where did it go? Oh, it's way over there. Reminds me, 300, yeah, which 300 per minute means I can get exactly 20 of these suckers. Well, actually, that's not good. I think I need 600 per minute, don't I? Let me think, because... Oh, no, no, no. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm going to need 600 per minute of copper. So we're going to have to go find some more. Oh, 
But at least I can get all the buildings put together and then simply go find more. And 10. I did mess that up a little bit, but that's okay. Not in a bad way. Okay, I think that I can finally redo this. That concrete goes over to my heavy modular frames, so it is kind of important. Uh, okay, so these are paused. I'm gonna go ahead and just let one or two of these continue working. Uh, maybe not. Looks like it was kind of at an equilibrium. Yeah. get just some more wire. We need 300 more per minute. Which means I need three more of these. You know, I might be able to just afford it right here. We'll do a little bit of math though. So if this is going to work, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five. That's 250. Can we go up to 400? Oh, that's the silliest questions I ever asked. This is the pure, right? Yeah, so this can go to 600. Oh, let's also get our. Now nah, we'll get our power shards and we're coming back. Okay, so we got 600 per minute. That means we, in total we can make two foundries per hundred. We can make 12 foundries and we're using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, we're fine. In fact, we could have twelve. We could have four more foundries if we really wanted. What the? Hi. Cool. <laughs> Good talk. Oh, do you? Do you mind? Which one did I wake up? Oh, it must have been the limestone. I just had a great idea. We're gonna do something a little bit, a little bit unorthodox. Uh, but first we need iron plates. Uh, is there a place I can get them here? No, not really. Fine. Let's 
grab more of those. More unorthodox, like clipping my belts like a madman. Even worse. Oh. What the heck? That was weird. Every time I tried to switch to the sword, it would do something different. It's not unorthodox per se, it's just gonna help a little bit with the initial efficiency. What I'm doing is I'm gonna set up with the other row right here. Still uh, still in serial, but this time it's going to be filling from the opposite end. So while the whole thing fills up, the because the machines at the front are always the most efficient when this kind of thing is starting up. So this way, even though it still won't be 100%, at least it'll be weighted in the favor of the opposite. You know, this side is in favor on this, this side is in favor over here. What? Oh, tricky. Last thing. there. At least the automated wiring is working this whole time. It's not at 100%, but it'll get there. Automated wiring is the suck. Hopefully this will be the last I deal with it for most of the rest of the run with the exception of, you know, maybe speeding stuff up at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on here. That should be okay. But yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, even though it shouldn't matter. Make sure that these are all moving. I didn't get any weird belt shenanigans. Okay. I want to make sure if a wire goes in, that means I connected the belt properly. Alright, cool. And with plenty of time.
All right, there we go. We're doing, so now we're doing, I'll just double check, uh, 24 plus eight, so 32 times 2.5. Yeah, we're doing 80 per minute. How's the power grid? Great question. We should be fine since we're on nuclear. Yeah, we're a little bit close. I will be building two more nuclear plants soon, uh, but it's not quite urgent yet. All right, this is getting, this is coming along. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I want to maybe start moving these over, just so I don't have to worry about it. The reason I'm doing this will probably make sense shortly. Uh, which reminds me, I also need to get more bauxite. Right now I'm still working off of the one... Oh, I was also going to pause the the aluminum canister stuff. Nuclear plants in under 19 hours, but they're so easy to get started if you're not worried about the waste. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I didn't think about overclocking the reactors. Is that more is that less efficient strictly, or is it the exact same? Okay, so we're gonna pause this for now because I've got kind of a same ratios? Oh, fantastic. Maybe I'll just do that instead of building another one. I did not realize. Okay, so we'll turn that back on to make up for the extra aluminum ingots. I don't need an infinite amount of canisters because... Ah. Yeah, I'm keeping my nitrogen tanks on kind of a closed loop system, closed loop system. So as long as I have enough to reliably transfer back and forth, that's fine. I just need to use an extra slug. Oh no, poor me. <laughs> I have a feeling it'll be fine. Uh, I am using the nitrogen, but not enough for it to matter yet. I will fix it soon, though. I'm gonna get the versatile framework storing, and then I will do that. The way I'll do that is like this. I'm gonna skip the first, um, okay, so if they store in groups of 50, I need 10,000 divided by 48. I need four containers. And let's go ahead and get those in there. Alright, great. As long as it's not coming out, fantastic. Check my notes here. Oh, <laughs> the only the last thing I have in my notes is in all caps fix copper foundry for supercomputers. But that's good. That's covered. Alright, so these should start messing up because of the encased industrial beams. Yep, so I'm gonna increase the speed of those. Just so we have maximum heavy modular frames. Not maximum, but uh, maximum for this amount of effort, I guess, would be a better way to put it. So we can actually double all this. Oh, I forgot I needed to grab modular frames. Oh, but we have some here. Thank you very much. Two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm only going to be using three of these for a little bit, but it can't hurt to just build them all now. Idea being, uh, I'll leave that for the moment, but we will have to fix it soon. 
we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that does remind me, I was actually going to, speaking of uh, fused modular frames, I need to make sure that we're producing some of those for... And I can actually just take the heavy much of the frames out of here. I remember making extra ACU storage was the one thing where I was like, ah, oh, there's no way I'll forget to do this. I don't have to make it. I don't have to make a note. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. We didn't overflow. We were close, but still got it in time. Okay, so we're gonna have one per blunder and I'm actually gonna overclock the heck out of them for now oh I forgot to grab the extra <laughs> yeah I should go grab the extra power slugs once I once I get my encased industrial beams update six will let you make notes that's true don't forget to make notes yes I'll never I'll never miss that one or ignore it is usually that's usually my bigger problem is that I I'm like, ah, I'll never forget this one, and then I forget that one, specifically. Okay. My to-do list is more like my ignore list. Uh, I grabbed, so I did put seven in. I wanted to get this stuff working for encased industrial beams, and then I was gonna... Yeah, I think it was gonna buy me enough time. Maybe not, since I overclocked. Yeah, I guess let's go do that. One and a half per minute gets me like three minutes. It would have been close. But yes, I did forget. Thank you. Yep. Alright. We're just gonna want some power out there. For this, we need 240 more iron and 240 more coal per minute. That's you. That was the weirdest thing in my life. I just said a chew and it made the sneeze go away. <laughs> wow. I'm kind of dumbfounded that that worked. <laughs> My thought process was like, I don't like, I don't like sneezing on stream because it's loud and jarring and I don't want to like, you know, startle anybody. And so in like, it was like a half trying to subdue it, and then half still had to sneeze anyway, and then it just came out as the word of chew. And now I don't have to sneeze. Incredible. Well, anyway, that's cool. Uh, oop. We're gonna need one more of those suckers. Where can I get me at? Hey, we haven't gotten this one yet. Very good. I'm probably gonna take from this one, actually. No, we already did. Okay. Okay, 480. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that. Say okay, so this one's taking an extra 240 per minute.
One, two, three, four. Okay. Is that a slug? Oh no, I already got that one. Alright, and we just need to get 240 more coal. Now this is where I'm going to have to finally step out and grab those power slugs. Oh, that beautiful green from the versatile frameworks. Looks like uranium. There we go. We didn't leave any other spurious little thingamabobs, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, that green is so jarring. Oh, we also need to fix our battery stuff. Maybe I'll do that while I'm here. I don't have motors though. Alright, 240 more. Cool. Not steel. Now I could maybe get leading edge and buy the turbo motors. Uh, maybe I'll go do that. Let's see how close we are. Fine. Might, might be too much actually. Did I ever make a side chest for batteries? I think I did, right? Uh, well, we'll get there soon. Okay, Mark 3 looks like we're good to make one.
I'm gonna take these out because I once again recently got the bug where it eats them all up and I don't want that. Uh, maybe I'll make one more. Wait. Oh. They're in a box, I don't want to deal. Okay, so we got an extra 300 per minute. Should be. Yep, okay, cool. That's good enough for me. Let's see here. I think we're all good. Let's grab some more steel pipes. Just pies. And we'll also maybe turn these on. I don't think it can hurt. Okay. Let's actually do it this way. Have this one go here. This one go there. This one go there. And that one go there. That way, if and when we need to expand, we can do it towards the north, the rocky desert. Okay, two, three, four. I think four should be enough, because I don't have to supplement that much. I mostly have to supplement... I think I gotta supplement one assembler to each of these. Cause that'll get us to 12. Let's go ahead and make two more. Oops. Is each of these 28? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of this. Oh, this is gonna kinda be annoying, isn't it? This way, they each come out with 30 per minute. Okay, so we'll just do with five for now. I don't know what I'm doing this way, but oh well. Alright. Now we have one of them go here. And then the rest will be merged in. The right, yeah. Okay, very good. So we supplemented all these, which means that they should go to 100% from 90. Steel pipes, interesting. I guess let's make the, make some more steel pipes just so we can supplement that too. Uh, let's take this extra 10. Move it on over here. So I guess I am building more steel stuff now. We can make four more. One, two, three, four. What's this? Okay. Never make enough steel pipes. So honestly, kind of... Which is so interesting. It doesn't feel like a part that should be like a... This is a 
you know, really hurting for this kind of thing. But I mean, all right, so we're gonna go, I think this should be the overflow pipes as they go into that one, yep. Okay, there we go. Awesome, let's make some more refineries. I need four and I need to make a lot of coal generators. Oh, this does remind me of something else I wanted to do. Not urgent, but I am nearby, so I may as well. Where do these copper sheets come from? Overflow. How's the run going to get impacted by update 6? Well, for starters, I have no idea what the Spire Coast part of it's going to look like anymore. Now, I haven't done a whole lot in the Spire Coast, so maybe it'll be not that impacted. Um, the, oh, Jesus. Hello. Alright, let's, let's take care of this. Uh, yeah, it'll depend how they change the enemies. I know that uh, package percent is probably going to be different because you have to start with fighting those crabs and the whole way that that thing works doesn't isn't going to be the same anymore. Where the heck? Hey. I'm not done with you. So whatever they change about um, that is going to have a pretty big effect. Keep running update 5 for speedruns. <laughs> I mean, while it's on experimental, sure, but then, you know, that won't last forever. Okay, so we're going to want more motors, we're going to need some copper sheets. And uh, we're going to want more of those, as well as, are we good on rotors? Let's go ahead and get some more. You can keep a copy and run that, but... I would rather play on the, like, whatever the current version of the game is. Um, I mean, technically, you can still submit runs for older categories, but wonder, like, why would I not want to, to be the best on the most current version of the game? I guess is my main question, right? I might as well, right? Mm, let's see, am I going to want more copper sheets? Uh, no, looks like we're fine. Be the best on all the versions. Yes! Maximum domination. I have enough modular frames. I'm gonna need a few more. But not yet. Okay, so these... Yeah, I remember this was gonna be an issue. We're gonna go ahead and... Oh! I didn't do it! Ah, dang. Okay, that's okay. I need to save up a total of... I think it's... 20,000 batteries? So, 20... Divided by 200 per stack is four containers. So let's go ahead and make those, or uh, excuse me, two containers. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna grab some bacon. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to actually do something with this water. Right now we're gonna be creating 30, 69, and 120 water per minute, which means we need two more of these. Best way to deal with the excess water, in my opinion, not best, but in the case of a speedrun, it's the easiest for sure, is just grab some coal and make some power. Two birds with one stone. Alright, so we're going to do that, and then... Thank goodness we have sloppy alumina because we're going to be using it. Each one will want 200 water, so that's a total of 400, which we can do with. Well, we're going to need just two water extractors each. The main reason that I value it. Not just because of the fact that it gives you extra power, which is nice, admittedly, is that you don't have to, as long as you make sure you're using more water than the possible output, you don't have to do any balancing things. Uh, and not having to worry, worry about balancing is a huge boon to, to chaos runs. 
Hey there, Nintendo. Hello, Steve. How are you doing today? Oh, oh, there we go. Love the highlight video? Great, I'm glad. I had a lot of fun putting it together. I was hoping that people would enjoy it. Alright, we got those. Thanks for the shout out. Of course. I wish that I had more opportunities to shout out all the other stuff that everyone else did. Uh, there were a lot of people that did a lot of cool stuff, but it just... Uh-oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, wait, it's the right one! Haha! <laughs> I'm so smart. Uh, it was really difficult to, to shout out all the things that I wanted to. Like, I wanted to do a death compilation. That was kind of hard to squeeze in. In a way that was like... I don't know, I learned something very interesting about video editing, which is that there's a lot of things that you want to talk about, oops, there's a lot of things that you want to talk about, and you kind of just can't get them all, because after a point it becomes too disjointed of a story, you have to tell like one story, and so once you like, if you meander around too much, trying to get all of the things that happen, then it becomes super disjointed and a lot harder to follow. Um, so sadly I had to, you know, cut out stuff that was not in service of, like, the, the main story of how did the run go. Unfortunate, but... I got to highlight some of the cool things that went on. And now I just have to kick my ass back into your accidental deletion of the entire... <laughs> yes, I did have to leave that one out. I also have to, had to leave out a, uh, I wanted to make a death compilation, and, uh, what was the other thing? There, there were a couple other things that I wanted to call out. I wanted to call out all the ways that Fourth Wind was, uh, doing stuff, and, like, the way he was using dogs, but not really. Um, what was the other one? There was another good thing that I was like, I wish that I could have fit this in, but, yeah. Such is life. I guess I gotta get back to doing the Four Package Chronicles. <laughs> And then, then everyone can see it, even if it's not as highly edited. Okay, so we're gonna need more rods soon. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Hello Blast, thank you very much. Okay, this is where I'm gonna need more of these for, but we can at least get started. Aluminum output for cold gens, yeah. I thought of it when I was doing my, when I was doing my game recently that wasn't a four package run because we didn't have the segmented category and also I just wanted to have fun playing Satisfactory, imagine that. <laughs> I realized, like, oh, I don't want to have to balance all this garbage. What if I just didn't? And I didn't have any limestone around, so my only option was to... Yeah, do exactly that. Just pipe it into a... Coal generator. And usually you have coal because you're already using it to make the aluminum stuff, so it's convenient. <laughs> have fun. What is this? Was this concept you speak of? You can use petroleum coke too. Uh, can you make petroleum coke easily? I, d I don't recall that being something that I could easily come up with a way to produce. That was the main reason that I didn't think about it. Because you have to make that out of um, heavy oil residue, is that right? I normally do a closed loop with a buffer. Yeah, I usually do that too when I when I play normally, but I don't know. It made it easier to set up this way, and the extra side bonus is I don't have to worry as much about balancing the power grid, because it, in a way, it becomes... I don't think it becomes fully power positive, but it becomes nearly power positive, which is a nice little side benefit. Uh, yeah, I am using petroleum coke for my oil stuff. Uh, Yep. 
In fact, I am, yeah, I'm using base plastic and rubber recipes and then just turning the heavy oil residue into Petro Coke for power. That's how we've managed to avoid using anything but, or that's how we managed to avoid needing fuel power. Yay. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Great. Which building snapping didn't break with trees that are yellow print? Oh yeah. Uh, I, uh, I think I've had stuff snap that was yellow. I can't think of any examples off the top of my head, but um, I don't think it necessarily gates on that. Especially if you're on foundations, it doesn't really mind. Because it lines up to the foundations and sometimes that's not happy. Okay, that one's blue, sure. Okay, so now we have another bunch of those. Let's go ahead and just build a lot of these. Four, five, six. We're doing... Uh, that's... One constructor, two, three constructor, four, five and a half. Okay. Infinite aluminum casings coming in hot. I'll probably end up undoing what I did with the all clad sheets in a little bit. But it was important for me to keep that up, especially considering on the, uh, on the all-clad sheet front, I'm, I'm good for a while, so it wasn't really like I was hurting for those. But I'm going to have to turn it back up in order to get uh, my heat sinks. Okay, which one of you is this one? Right? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got that going. We may want to consider... I think I may consider up in the nuclear power stuff now. Now that I have the uh, encased beams, it should be pretty easy to. So we have a bunch going down here. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we still have nitrogen. I think I gotta grab some more heavy modular frames. Yep. Bump that up again. Sorry, I took all your heavy modular frames. There we go. Okay, so these are all not at 100. Because this is not working at 100%? Wait. Yeah, it is. I wonder if I can bump these up. Maybe I'll try. My guess is that it'll be capped on the EIBs again. Yeah, 14 per minute's not there's too much. Uh, we'll do that though. Because I'm now making 12 per minute. And that's probably around it. Uh, let's see what it comes out to. There we go. Cool. So now we're making, you know, 14 per minute. That's a good amount. I am going to make more later. But, it'll keep me going. Let's start buffering extra rubber. I'm going to go out to the Spyrco soon, but not quite yet. Eh, maybe now is a good time, though. What are you having any problems with. Are 
Are you hurting for quick wire? Oh yeah, I need to turn that up. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I know there's other Caterium nodes that I could just blow them up, but this is easier to set up right now. Uh, I play both Rocket League and League of Legends. I don't play League of Legends super consistently or frequently, um, but I do enjoy it occasionally. I just don't think of it very often anymore. I used to play it a lot when I was younger. Now it's, it's still fun, but just not as much. Uh, Rocket League, a little bit same. I'll go through phases where I play a lot of Rocket League. Um, but I'm usually a very social gamer, and so I tend to gravitate towards... Oh, hello, save. I tend, to, I tend to gravitate towards whatever games my friend group is playing. Uh, and usually Rocket League is not their speed, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, so that's usually just... I have to really feel like playing it if I'm going to play it. Okay. Yeah, I think I started in 2011 as well. Yep, saving. Okay, so that should fix the Caterium Quickwire stuff for a bit. Oh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's turn these up. Why is it always autosave? I think that I should be good to simply... Oh, okay. To simply turn up some of this to uh, to 200% for a little bit. Though I could easily just make a second one, couldn't I? And then I don't have to worry about the slugs. Alright, so we'll do that. Uh, for you as well, though it'll probably be easier for me to just double this with a slug. I just had a cursed thought. I was like, what if I just <laughs> pick it up and hand it, just hand feed it? Oh wait, that would be a horrible idea. All right, there we go. And EIBs. Thank goodness I have extra. Haha. -ha. In fact, you know what? I'll just make another. Can I make another? I can make two more. There we go. Might as well. Where's the thing? There we go. Oh, not quite. Uh, let's see. And that's why Uncle Epiphane needs to spend a few years in a lead box, kids. I'm at 200 yet? Almost. Let's just do this. Boop. No. I'm not trying to eat food. From here, I'm gonna go straight to fixing the nitrogen. Because we're gonna need to do that soon. Okay, 300 should be enough. Check the AI limiters. Uh, I had them go from go to 7.5 a minute. I, I think that I did check this 
when I was practicing, though I really should check it again. So, thank you for the suggestion. Two, three. I think it was, the way that it's going to end up working out is that one of my AI limiters is full, the one that's not going down here, and the other one is empty. So all I have to do is just re redirect the empty one, uh, redirect. Uh, I'm not going to go out to the nitrogen yet because I have to worry about rubber and everything first and get, and I haven't even set up my cooling system constructors, I mean blenders. Though that's pretty close to the next task, I suppose. The AI limiters may not have been going on 100% because of the uh, Caterium shortage. Yep, there we go. So we're gonna do this. Ah. This. Overflow and go. Okay. Yeah, 91% because of the quick wire. So that should help. Oh, I don't need to do this. What am I doing? Okay. That's all good. You know what? Here. I don't like having that extra one. And it's mostly going to get capped on the quick wire, which should be catching back up shortly. Once these fill back up, and it looks like they're getting there. Oh, hey. Add a little bit of redundancy in here. And we'll do one over here too. All right, good enough. So let's go do our rubber and stuff. Uh, actually, no. no. Let's set. We have the we have the buffers. We don't need to do it quite yet. Let's do our cooling systems. Yay! Okay. I don't have so. It shouldn't be that slow right now. 27. Something's up. I think I'm gonna go check out the other area. But I'm gonna do the smart way. Oh god, I'm so slow. Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't expect to be this slow. Oh, yeah. I'll get my stuff. My original thought was I was going to check, and if it was fine, which I suspect it is, and it's just kind of flushing through the system, then I would just respawn. But I didn't expect it to be excruciatingly slow to run. <laughs>
happening here? Why are these going so slow? Is this all full? Okay, well, huh. Maybe I just need to do more. Alright. another hundred. Oh. Hey, look at that. That may not have been the issue, but... Uh, you know, while I'm in this area, maybe I should go beef up, or not beef up, but make another bauxite. Yeah. Because that's gonna get constructed very quickly. If it's not already. really need is another miner. Can I afford it? I can afford a Mark II. I have power slugs. This is enough Auclad sheets, actually. I guess we'll find out soon. Is there a slug in here? Oh, there is! Let's go get it. Not be going on. Oh, these are still going 100%. Okay, that's good. Is this all green though? Whoa. Wait. 60 times. Oh, that's just getting backed up because. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So right now we're getting 200 out, we need another 400. I'm doing this because I know I'm going to run across a cat and I don't know exactly where and I don't want to deal with it. It also makes it a little bit easier, actually, now that I'm working kind of aerially.
Alright, so that should be 120 on its own. Yep. 300. Alright, so that's 500 total. Oh, dang. Maybe I... I don't think I can buy fused modular frames, right? Yeah, bummer. I think I can get around this issue, though, because all I need is 600 total. So as long as... Oh, I'm a slug. As long as I have 600 total, which means I'm getting 300 here, I need to get an extra oh, 700 out of the other miner. Getting 700 per minute out of this guy. Six hundred. Oh. Forgot you need a uh, Mark III miner to get to 780, huh? Alright. Guess we're going to get some fused modular frames. Okay, so this should speed up. Battery should be good. It won't be 100%, but it'll be faster. It's still working 100%. Nice. Okay. Let's make sure that we hand feed some more heavy modular frames. I'm not quite ready to stop hand feeding them yet. Oh, there we go. We're almost at the point, but I would rather be working on a backup. Okay, and we have a good amount. So let's just go ahead and grab those. burning through a lot of concrete so I think it's time for me to upgrade that a bit I also think we're gonna have to upgrade our silica ah! okay that could have been worse yeah I think I do have to add a few more assemblers for silica so we're actually fine for now still. Yeah, we're starting to run out. So let's go ahead and add, because we're using 75 times eight, 150 times four. We're using 600 more silica per minute. So we're gonna want a few more of these. One, two, three, I think I'll do three more. Uh, cheap silica. Yep, so... Maybe I'll do five. Four, five. It's not really that hard to put together.
three, four. Oh, <laughs> get out of town. In the meantime, let me go ahead and set up what I'm going to need for that. And we're going to want power. And that seems like a good amount. So we added another 10, which means you need another eh, 200 per minute of limestone. Let's go get that. Let's also make sure these are all Mark 5. that doing 480 per minute and oh jeez I did it again there we go 40 per minute and it wants to use 1125 times okay go super silica we are good for a while on that now let us make some blenders we need HMFs more motors So while we're here, move this on over towards where we're going to eventually make the thermal propulsion rockets. Or excuse me, the turbo motors. It's the same thing, effectively. I think I wanted to do it on this floor. So we're just going to store those for a bit.
time we're going to each of these, should give us a lot more room to work with. Thank you for your EIBs and steel pipes. Is that enough? Okay, it should be enough. see my general progression in terms of time going forward from here so what I need to get do, uh, going on is making these project parts I am almost at the point where I've made all the prerequisite parts and once I've done that it's just a matter of cranking out the project parts themselves as quickly as possible uh, I want to get th uh, thermal propulsion rockets set up first because I have all of the components that I need right here with me. And after that, it's just going to come down to how fast the machines work. I've been planning a lot of this with the intent of trying to finish all of the project parts themselves in less than 10 hours. So if I can start before hour 30, uh, if I can start within the next few hours, then I'll be in a pretty good spot. Uh, doesn't the ADS take the longest usually? Yes. However, uh, it's also the one that's built with an assembler, meaning that as long as I have ADSs and... Um, am I selecting something down here? There we go. Uh, as long as I have my ADSs... Or excuse me, my ACUs and supercomputers set up, then the hard part is, is done. Because that, that's what slows down ADS, uh, ADS production is getting all of your ACUs created, really. So as long as I get that, then later on I can set up just a massive amount of assemblers and just crank them into huge overtime. That's why I haven't been stressing out about building ADSs yet, is because I've, I've actually been stressing about it just when it comes to building the ACUs, not the, super, not the ADS itself. I could start building the ADSs too. Um, but I've just been finding other things that I need to do constantly. <laughs> Planning in advance. <laughs> yeah, fancy that. Okay, one of these is going to be for nuclear pasta, the other one's going to be for thermal propulsion rockets. Oops, I needed to get my, uh... Those. Double your fix it hates him. Well, actually, fix it loves him. So once I make these, then I'm gonna have to up the nitrogen. Or I'm gonna have to start thinking about it. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna want six eventually, but this is good enough to start. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Ten. Ah. Oh no, that was good. Okay. What's happening here? Okay.
Pixel doesn't want you to know because they can't keep you in an indentured servitude as long. If you do everything. That's what this is really about. Alright, so if I'm going to have six of these, then each one is going to be... Okay, two, 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 and two. And, oh, cable, huh? You know what? Screw it. I don't need that many. I need, like, 20. I have to do this for both all clad sheets and copper sheets. I'm gonna get copper sheets first because that's the one where I want to make sure it's producing more right now. I don't want anything to get backed up because just like everything else, I'm gonna need to expand. I'm gonna need to make more steamed copper sheet stuff. So I might as well start digging into the surplus here so things can get working. Okay, there we go. You know what, let's just get them both. Boy, I wonder why the frame rate has such a hard time sometimes. I can't think of anything I'm doing that could cause it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, gosh. All right. Back to work here. Okay, so that's got two. This one goes here. Two and three. Alright, there we go. Four, four. And this gives me the freedom. expand this further later. So just drop this on and there we go. Okay, so each one of these ones 30 per minute. That means I want one and a half water extractors. your cable with this one simple trick I wasn't gonna say anything but yeah uh, all right I guess time I just grab some cable though I'm gonna need it eventually I can grab copper sheets all that other stuff too all right 
those. Let's just go ahead and do this first to put up everything. Okay, and then let's, oh, I'm gonna want those. I don't need that many all-clad sheets. And let's grab more table. Okay, I will need more in a bit, but for now I can keep everything in here. Let's get some concrete. Uh-oh. That's troubling. Let's fix it in the best way possible. Boop. <laughs> uh, that's 240 per minute each. Okay. There's 720. <laughs> Easy. Oh wait, 300 each? Okay, well. Temporarily, that'll be our solution. At least it'll be easier for me to remember that I did it, because I'm out of power slugs. <laughs> Gustavo Saliba, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay, and then we're gonna want this. Hydrate, thank you. Okay, so each of these takes 150 per minute. That means that, let's do it this way. We're gonna eventually be looking at Freecom for the follow, thank you. Let's go get some nitrogen. So each one of these is 240. Now, uh, man, having the having these go at super overclocked is really helping. Sort of. Let me just not though. Uh, do do do. Okay. Any of these have 60? Oh, I saw one. Okay. What else am I tossing? I don't need these circuit boards. I, I don't need that many, uh, oop. I don't need that many steel beams either. I should just get rid of those. 125 and 76. Nice. We are 10% done. And given that I only started like an hour and a half ago, it's been working like half power. It's pretty good. Okay. So those are getting their like 75 per minute instead of 240. These are making a total of, what's 240 times three? 720, so I can't actually do it quite like that, huh? Okay, so one's doing 480. 480 can fill up three of these. I'm gonna do it explicitly so that it's easier to reason about. Okay, so this one goes to here. Hi, I just started this game. How many hours from my factory? Uh, you can see the timer on the right. It's been 20 hours. We're trying to finish the game in less than... Well, less than 34 is the goal right now. Okay, there we go. It. Oh, did I say on the right? Yeah. Timer on the left. Bring the rubber on over. Okay, so that should have every, everything it needs. Let's go ahead and make our manufacturers for turbo motors now. 
yeah, this is very uh, scripted, for lack of, lack of a better term. I think that I should also... I've got an idea. I think I know how I want to order this. So, I need to go get modular engines. Now is as good a time as any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the container for those modular engines to go into. At this point in time, I'm pretty sure that I have finished making all the modular engines. I just need to you know, bring them on over because they're in a different area of the map. So let's do a little bit of this. This is going to store them. Uh, we're also going to get... We're also going to make a mini heavy modular frame factory. Uh, that's not what these are for. This is for electromagnetic control rods. Which we're also going to be getting smart splitter. Boom. Bang. We're going to say modular engine and we're gonna say uh, electromagnetic control rod and then we're gonna see heavy modular frames and then we're gonna go we all the way over here with our HMFs this is why I haven't been setting up the automated belt for it yet okay there we go how much are these actually using? okay 37 and a half do we need to finish fix our nitrogen Soon, soon. Maybe I'll do that now, just so I don't have to worry about it later. Oh, that's the wrong one. Alright, let's try that again. Huh? Hold on. Not enough electromagnetic control rods. Not enough stators, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nuclear waste? What's that? Haha. -ha. make two of these, maybe three, just to, you know, not have any problems. Okay. We still do need to worry about the uh, lack of electromagnetic control rods, though. It's funny, because I was about to make some. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We're also, we need to turn this up so that it doubles. Uh... Not any further away. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I I believe in myself. All right, this now wants to do 80 per minute. This is only making 30. What? Should only be taking 60. Hold on. How? Oh, because oh, it produces 20. Okay, yeah, yeah. Silly me. Why do I have to make so many factories in this game? Could have seen this coming. Okay, that makes another 50. Great. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I had this set to make 30 per minute, and that also. Okay, so those make 60 together, and then this goes into yeah, it takes 60 and then gives out 20. Great. Concrete uranium covered. Though we do need to upgrade that, so this kind of leads naturally in. Let me go get extra stators, just to make sure that we're mostly safe. What is this? Oh, guess I'll never know. My, my nuclear fancy belt. I think it's this one. Yeah, should be good.
That's actually quite convenient for going out to nitrogen next. Do I have... Uh, mostly. I just need to be able to belt, so I think I'm fine. Yep. Ah, yummy yummy radioactivity. Oh my god, there's a power slug! Hang on, I need to upgrade the miner first. Just occurred to me, if I don't drain out their uranium, I could find myself in a bit of a difficult position. <laughs> Whew. Okay, we're good. Okay, so that'll be going 120 per minute. So that should cover us. What is that in the air? Oh well, whatever. Hmm. Probably should have filled up the jetpack. Ooh, hi. You don't mind, do you? Oh! Alright, let's, uh, oh, we filled that up already, okay. Kinda nice getting power slugs on the way, though. Gotta say. There aren't any over there, are there? Do we have enough for a car? Nope, no HMFs. That's okay. So smart. Hey, there we go. All right. So foggy here. The heck. Okay, so we fixed the nitrogen. That means our cooling system should be set up to go. We're gonna run low on rubber. What we need to do next is go grab our modular engines, turn on the factory that's going to be making a bunch of electromagnetic control rods uh, for our magnetic field generators. And once we're done with that, I think that we can hook up the belt and go straight to the Spire Coast to create the rubber and plastic we're going to need. So we need to go back to the base first to get all the construction parts. The steel pipe's not really a big deal because we're about to make a bunch, so we can just take from the factory. And, uh, same for actually most of this. Yeah. So let's just make sure we have a lot of all clad sheets. And we'll be good to go.
noticed that before. Brace yourself. that splitter there it is let's make all these all right and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and give her some of the I'm gonna get rid of all the cable because I don't need it yet. Uh, 3400's probably enough. Alright. And on my way out, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up on iron rods and iron plates. Don't need to worry that much about concrete. grab that belt and keep it going. Nope. I shouldn't have uh, looked away. I have now lost it. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> there it is. Factory hurts my eyes. That's the beauty of it. I I know what I've created. You know what it's like is, have you ever heard the term beautiful disaster? That's what we're dealing with here. I should have stopped trying to crouch jump up a hill. There we go. Did I bring much of the frames? Oh, good, I did. First satisfactory streamer. I'm the first satisfactory. Yeah. Well, apparently I'm unable to talk now. I'm the first satisfactory streamer out of 10 that actually talks. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you for the follow. And the hydrate. Oh god. Oh lord. Alright, hold on. Let me let me finish belting this over and then uh I'll take my swigs. I'm gonna have to refill. Alright, drop this in. Boom! Alright, goodbye modular frames. I mean modular engines. Alright, let me get some water. Hold on. If an AI, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. You're not supposed to tell. 
A actually, did you did you all hear about the? Oh shit! Thank you for the cheer. Appreciate that as too. Yeah, appreciate that too. I'm apparently just not able to talk today. I don't know what's going on. The turn arachnophobia mode off for Dean will never happen. <laughs> um, did you all hear about the whole Google Google AI fiasco recently? That was an interesting story. Love your new YouTube video. Thank you so much. Uh, I thought that it was very funny. So, for anyone that doesn't know, basically what happened was recently, so Google's been working, as you can expect, on AI things. Uh, and a, a big piece of that recently, I believe, is a conversational AI, aka a chatbot. And in order to, like, in, in the, while doing this, they, one of the engineers who is, like, people have referred to him as, like, the ethics guy, which is kind of funny too. Um, but he b basically became convinced that the AI was sentient um, after having a series of conversations with it. He, he was convinced that like it, it was a real thinking thing. Uh, and then the I think the company disagreed or so something like that. Basically they... <laughs> no. I'm sorry. We're not gonna we're not gonna bow to <laughs> to bribes. <laughs> it's tempting though. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he became convinced that AI was sentient. Google disagreed. He went public with the information and they put him on unpaid leave for, you know, trade secrets and all that shenanigan kind of stuff. Actually, I'm going to leave this on, but I'm going to turn off these, I think. Yeah. I don't need the motors anymore. Let's see. All right. So we're going to take those. Now we want to be coming up with two things here. We want to be making a bunch of electromagnetic control rods. And we want to be making a bunch of... Uh, but yeah, that's that's the whole thing is... Uh, it's kind of entertaining reading like the transcript of the conversations themselves. They are interesting and... I, I can see how one would be convinced, I, I suppose I would say. <laughs> I will not cave to the pressure. Thank you for the cheer, though. I won't do it for anything less than 30. I, I don't mean that. Don't bribe, th don't bribe 30. I don't anticipate running into a whole lot of spiders. Uh, actually. I think we've had most of our bad times out of bits anyway. Cave to pre- Ah! Uh, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Or did I? Alright, electromagnetic control rod. Alright, we want to make 20 of these per minute, so we're gonna go... I think it's 5? Because they're doing 4 each? Yep. Alright, so we're gonna go boop, and then we're just gonna juke that on down there. Six times five, thirty. So we want thirty per minute of these suckers, staters that is. And unfortunately, we're already making, I think this is twenty-four, right? Yep. So we're just gonna go pop, make a new one, and voila. Uh nope. No quick wire stater. Okay, and then we need steel pipes, of course. Now, of course, to have four of these at max, we'll need 60 steel pipes per minute. How many of these are we making? You're too quick. Have I mentioned I'm a speedrunner? Okay, so we only need three of these to be going in, so that will be covered by those three, okay? And then... The other two were originally going into staters and stuff, so you two have a new job. We no longer have to make any rotors. Uh, I said staters, but I meant rotors. Okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and use the strain on this. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, I see what I was doing. It's only me. So this is now doing pipes. And you'll come over here. So now we got a nice... Oh, I'm already out of... Wait, no. There's no way. There, there we go. There we go. Scared myself for a second. Alright, there we go. But just to be safe, I'll do I'll do steel beams for some of this. Alright, so we got 60 per minute. Let's bring them on up. Now they'll probably want to go into the uh, heavy modular frame stuff, so let's do that. Pop them on over there. Now let's see. All we have we have all that going. This should be 100 percent That means that we just need to do AI limiters now. I think AI limiters go at five per minute, so we'll combine four of these. Or even better. Uh, good chatting, gotta go. Good luck on your speedrun. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Or day, or eh, whatever time of the day it is. Australian? Oh, fair enough. Okay. Oh, also, I can actually fix the power grid a little bit here, if I recall correctly. Basically, these are backing up, which means that all of the coal generation I set up was, isn't doing anything right now. So if we sink the rubber, we gain the power. Uh, so this will go up soon. Okay. So... Wait, this wants to be an AI limiter. There we go. So we need 100 copper sheets per minute. It's probably already covered. And 400 quick wire per minute, which we will have to be increasing. Drop some of that off. Oh, that was close. Okay, so now we're at uh, 30 per minute, a little bit slower, but that's good enough to start. started charging a little more. Oh, look at that! That might actually be the, the nuclear generator. Okay, so we need to do fused quick wire. Oh yeah, we can get the power slug up here now. Look at that. Oh. Um...
Okay, and each of these is gonna do 90, so we actually want five of them. Two, three, four. You know what? This is gonna be easier if I just do this. Do it this way. Haha! -ha. Okay. And then these are gonna be doing four per minute. No. Four. Okay, so in total we'll want 37.5 times 5, 200 per minute, so we'll just make ourselves two foundries for this. I guess we can turn this sucker up. Cause I think right now, yeah, we're getting 240 and we're only using... Oh, we are using 240, sort of. Uh, oh, not of... Oh, yeah, I just need to... This two and I don't need those. I'll just take the turbo miners, I guess. Oh wait, I need to make more portable miners. Haha! -ha. All right. Oh, those are my only 10 fused modular frames? Well, that's convenient, I guess. Okay. Did I even... I didn't even branch off the... the copper. Alright, there we go. And then let's go ahead and make more of these. Copper sheets.
There we go. Okay, so we got all those. Uh, I think maybe I needed that, but not yet. Okay. So these should be working soon once they get all filled up. Yeah, 80 per minute. Great. And then once we get those, we'll have these. Awesome. Okay. And then these want their four per minute. Yeah. Okay, great. So we got our electromagnetic control rods sorted. Let's go to heavy modular frames now. Let's get some cable first. So for each of these, we're going to want, uh, let me do them at 80%, that's easier to balance for. So we'll want four encased industrial pipe. Oh my, game, there we go. Game's having a breakdown. I can't think of why. Okay, so we're gonna go boop, boop. Don't really need to worry too much about the balance. Okay, and if I recall correctly, three to 36 means 12 per, and so if we're doing 2.25, I guess that's five times two times uh, 12 each, it's 54, which means that these are going to be great. They're going to be the perfect fit, you steel pipes. Okay. Then we just need 28, which means we need 6. Don't... Don't mind me as I say numbers that don't add up. Because my brain goes faster than my mouth. I try to keep that to a minimum, but it definitely comes out when I'm trying to do all this math. Okay, there we go. So we need these to be steel pipes. This is heavy metal. Alright, and to make this work, we're gonna need three foundries. We might need more, but for now I'll just stick with the three. Need 120 more of each iron and and uh, this coal. Well, we get the iron first because we literally just have to make a miner. Free up the inventory space. We should only need a mark two. So let's make a mark two. It's not really the end of the way. I, end of the day, either way. Yes, yeah, 240. That's already more than enough. All right, let's go bump up our coal production. So to this line, I'm not really bothering to expand them both because honestly, at this point, it could all be one coal line anyway. That was weird. All right, so Mark 5 goes to Mark 5. Great. Okay, so now what we do, it's going to be a little weird because this one was only going at 60 per minute, if I recall. Oh, it is going 120. Okay. 
So we can't make it a Mark III, but what we can do is we can merge in this guy and make a friend for him. So we're going to speed this sucker up. There we go. And that means that this one should now be going at a total of... Uh, I don't remember how the split works, but it's... I think one of these is pure. So if this is going 240, yeah, and the other one's probably going 240. Yeah. Okay, great. So that means we got 480 here. Then we get an extra 240 into our original. Okay, oopsie! Well, that's an awkward situation to be in. Okay. That's fine. Two, three, and four. our power grid. Alright, we're still draining occasionally. Occasionally. And that probably has to do just with the slow production of that, of those uranium fuel rods. We'll fix that eventually, but for now we have a decent amount of time to work with. Okay, there we go. Iron, now we got 30 per minute going to each of these. Okay. That means all we need is modular frames and concrete. Concrete's easy. When your steel isn't solid. <laughs> okay, and so 4.5 times times 8 divided by 3, we need 12 per minute of modular frames. What is convenient is that I set up this line of reinforced iron plates already, and in fact they're making 20 per minute, if I recall correctly, which I can use to my advantage. Let's at least bring it over here so we have like a little bit of room, you know, make some space to think with, keep it all nice and organized. <laughs> if I recall correctly, we can do steeled frame. And if we want to be making uh, 12 per minute, we need four of these. And that leads us to a total of... No, let's, let's find something a little bit better. Like, if we do bolted frame, we can do... No, actually, it just works best with sealed frame. So I'll do it. Easiest to think about, at least. It may not be this the most efficient given one that I... Uh, I have gone on a few hard drive hunts. Yes, indeed. Uh, I have not gone in a while. In fact, I probably should at one point uh, go for more, but yes. There are a few alternates that I really, really, really wanted to get, and so I have collected maybe 30 or so hard drives <clears throat> to try and get those. Okay, so in total we're going to want two constructors for steel pipes.
They were much earlier on in the run. I haven't gone to many crash sites in a while. Nuclear and 30 hard drives in under 20 hours. Thank you. Practice makes perfect or whatever. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make three more of these. And that's why I got that extra coal. So we're gonna want it now. Boop. And we'll just go one, two, three, and four. That worked out nicely. this steel solid. Ooh, almost out of iron rods too. What were the chances? We're gonna find some iron rods. There we go. Boop. And iron plates. I like that I somehow remembered <laughs> that those were where they were. Okay, there we go. So now we should be getting, yep, all the modular frames we need. Meaning I think the last thing that I need to do before we're good on the uh, heavy modular frames is just make more concrete. So I remember doing the math at one point and I can actually check. So let's drop this in. Okay, so that's 33 plus uh, it'll do 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 per minute. Yep, so we're gonna want 10 constructors and we only have five. So let's go ahead and we'll just make another one. That's easier than overclocking. Just do that here. Three. There we go, that should be a good amount of concrete. Now, I think that means it is our cue to go do oil stuff. We got our electromagnetic control rods, we got our heavy modular frames, we'll make sure that those are going at 100%, uh, and then we'll be good to go. I think I may need to increase the speed of this, because we got one, 
uh, effectively 2, 3, and yeah, maybe 40, 50, 60, and we need 40 more per minute. So we'll, we'll do that here before we go. Right now we're only using another 100 of the extra 240, so we're fine. 3, 4, we'll do 5. Because each one, yeah, so we'll have one foundry for all of this. Hey, you. What's what's the problem? Huh? Whoa. Oh, wait. No, that's fine. Oh, get out of town. Okay. Okay, there we go. So silly. Actually, this is a good opportunity for me to get these, though. So I'm gonna need more. Okay, and then reinforced iron plates, I can grab those too. There we go. Fill up the to-do list. Very good. And actually, make sure I have a bit of leeway. Rips a little bit close. Should be fine. A, B is still, okay. Oh my god, we've just had steel ingots here. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Ooh. Okay, so that should be okay. Get a couple EIVs or a couple of these back. It's important that I have a, a comfortable amount of uh, those. Okay, so that's enough copper sheets. Looks like we're probably at 100%. Yep. That means these are good. Yep. Cool. Make sure we have some amount of surplus because we're going to be gone a while. EAB is the main one. Okay, reinforced iron plate. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more of that. Just top up. Uh, rotor, we're good. Cable, we're good. No, I'm tempted to get more cable. Because we have a bunch. Okay, and then let's get rid of this plastic because we're about to make a lot. Um, boop. And then... These heat sinks as well. Oh, autosave. Okay. And we'll go re-up on concrete because we can. We'll head out to the Spire Coast. I don't want to spend too long because I feel like I may have messed up the smart splitter. And I don't want to risk 
let, leaving that broken for too long. Okay. So there's actually one hard drive out here that I wanted to get for a while. I should probably make room for that, huh? Um, hold on. I'll just bring power with me. No. That's silly. Like 20 megawatts, I can just make a biomass burner. I don't think I need this much concrete. It's only one. Yep. All right. There's that. Um. Oh, looks like we're going down now. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. It's not like we really needed to pick up anything though. All right. Hard drives make the world go round. Brace yourself, we're taking some damage now. Oh, okay. Okay, that wasn't actually so bad. You know, this area looks the most like the Spire Coast is supposed to look. Now that I think about it. really any hard drives over there either. Not that I know of at least. Oh did we already oh no we didn't already expand our plastic and rubber. For a second I thought this is the one thing that sucks about practicing it is sometimes I'll confuse what I have done in practice with what I've done. Uh oh, I like turning it around. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I recall correctly, it's going to be 300 on each side, which means I don't need any special junction or er, special Mark II pipes. All right, let's just do this. Jesus. There we go. Fill these up. There we go. All right, so we're going to do rubber for all but two of them. Five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll do plastic. We're about to get ourselves into a kind of sticky situation because I forgot the other thing I'm supposed to do here. It's not the end of the world, it's just gonna make things a little bit awkward. Uh, let's go ahead and at least do these. I need to merge that in right before I go. I 
But that one has four, that one has four. This one has only two. There you go. And now we need four of these. Oh. Do I just buy steel pipes? Kinda tempting. Better overclock. Mm. Also tempting. I do just have extra tickets. I wonder if there's anything else I can do with the heavy oil residue that would be convenient. Uh, 60. I don't want to use fuel though. Alright, guess we'll just do this and overclock. Kind of unfortunate. But I gotta use two slugs just to compensate for that mistake. Ah oh, well. I do have a lot. Okay, so those are filling up slowly. Between the three of these, we will have 480 petroleum coke. And we can do one of two things. We can make a bunch of generators, which is probably the wise choice. Uh, but we're going to need to make a lot. You know, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because 480 divided by 25 needs 20. 2, 3. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. Wow, that's a perfect outcome. Except we don't have enough for our coal generators, so that's okay. We'll just chop a couple of coal gens off the end. So we're going to chop off, I think, one of these, because each of these takes 10, right? Yeah. Okay, so in order for 20 times 45 to work, we'll need ooh, 900. Uh, all right. And then 900 divided by 20 is eight of these. Okay, so I will need to chop four off. Four. Two. Three, four. That'll start it. Well, we'll do groups of three, though. Each one of these will go to eight. So in total we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. I think that's fine. 720. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and prep the overflow though. 
because one day we will fill this sucker up. And it's best we don't do it too soon. Oh, look, a ticket. Wow. Okay, so there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Okay, and we just need three more of these. Uh, one, two. We'll just chop one more off, I guess. You know what we should do? Let's just do this. Alright, so that's six. Honestly, six is good enough for our purposes. Ma'am, research complete. Instant scrap. Now, I hear that's good, but I haven't used it before. Um. Maybe I'll just hang on to it anyway. Why not? The other two are meh. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We don't entirely need all these to function 100% because we can cover the overflow and we are technically charging even if it's not perfect. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna start the race. Oop. What's the race, you ask? Glad you asked. The race is the fact that I need a smart splitter before the plastic and the rubber get mixed together. <laughs> so if I don't make it back before the rubber, then the whole factory goes kaputs. I think we're gonna win, though. I nailed that maneuver. Can I make a smart splitter? It looks like it. Okay. We'll choke the rubber off. There we go. And then... Ah. No sir, just speed runs. Alright, and then rubber. Boom. Nailed it. Okay. And then we don't really need to account for overflow, even though maybe we might have to worry about it eventually. But for now, it'll be fine. All right, cool. Ah! Okay, so let's get making some turbo motors now. means I'm gonna need cable, reinforced iron plates. Let's fill up on the on these resources that I've been uh, lacking for a little while. All right, so we're gonna get some cable. We're gonna get some rotors. We're gonna get more of those. Wait, why do I have so many iron rods? All right, well, we'll get two stacks. More of those. We're good on the copper sheets. I'm glad we didn't end up dipping as much into savings as I expected. And then we'll just grab that. Okay. Why are these not working? You're missing concrete. Wow, we actually did it. Ran out of concrete. I know how to fix this though. It's not something I expected to happen. Oh, let's make sure that these are moving. Uh, they are not. Which is... A little bit concerning. I was expecting. We're gonna see if stuff comes down the line. I might have blocked. I might have messed up the logistics some somewhere. Nope, we're, we're clear. And that's got all of those. Which means that, I mean, 
I would expect that to have been doing something. I don't remember how much we had before. Nah, I never nerfed streamer. Streamer needs to stay OP. Easiest way to get turbo motors. Purchasing them. Okay. But we will make our cooling systems. Oh, I never made a box for those, did I? Whoopsie! Well, at least we're making them. <laughs> okay. And I can jumpstart some of the concrete right now. Since I have 900 on me. Go ahead and drop those in just to buy a little bit more productivity. Have these just not been moving at 100%? Crap. Oh no, I guess it's been fine, it's just moving. Uh, no, no, it has not been fine. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, that solves that problem, I guess, for a little while longer. Okay, let's turn in our cooling systems, free up some inventory space. Boop. Uh, let's do the same for electromagnetic control rods, too. We're not gonna start making nuclear pasta yet, so... We'll be fine like that. Okay, so... Are we... Accumulating or not? Am I gonna have to go back out? I think I might. Dang. That's frustrating. Speaking of things that I'm definitely going to mess up, how's uh, how's the power grid? Okay, it's hanging in there, but definitely still not 100% either. Alright, there we go. But in the meantime, we have 30 per minute. We are going to be turning 20 eight per minute into turbo motors followed by thermal propulsion rockets. Fifty one forty three sixty thank you. Thank you both. Now we are I think that's 20% of the way done making fused modular frames, so that's good news. Uh, what? Plastic. We are one. We are 25% done with the supercomputers, which are not going fast enough because the computers. Not at 100%. What are they hurting for? Rubber. <laughs> good thing we're making more. Uh, okay, so we're getting there slowly, it's just... Uh, okay. Well, good thing I checked, I guess. Give me your plastic. So where's that box that's like casting a shadow? What what's in here? What are you doing? 
<laughs> okay. Sure. Alright. Four. Happy Ju 2010. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. motor and we're gonna have you do one per minute to match the thermal propulsion rockets okay we need RCUs those are easy this is why I made two separate boxes Okay, so one of these is going to make a thousand turbo motors. It's going to be you. So what we're going to do is we're going to store all for now. We're going to take a bunch of these and then we're going to go... Okay, how many do you have? 250. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 850. 2, 3. 1,000. And then, uh, wait, turbo motor. Does that take two? It does. Okay, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Onward. I'll just take all these, and the rest will be going towards pressure conversion cubes, which I'm not making yet, but now I can. Okay. And then our motors. motors and then we just need the rubber. I might need to actually make more rubber per minute. So I guess it's a good thing I didn't finish up all that factory and that oil stuff out there, huh? Okay, but for now we do have a decent amount of rubber so it should be okay temporarily. That's why I started stockpiling over here. Because this one has some rubber to spare. Alright, there we go. Alright, and now for the rockets. Now, when I was practicing the first time, I only started with two per minute, but I'm thinking I'll just go straight to all four. Same for rainy day, and now it's storming. Yes, indeed. The rain was bound to come eventually. Okay, so we're gonna go boop. And then we're gonna go bop. Why not? Doesn't really matter that much. If I recall correctly, the reason I restricted it to two the first time is because I didn't, I wasn't making enough cooling systems, but that's not a problem anymore. Okay. So that's that. Turbo motors coming in, modular engines, fuse modular frames. Alright, easy peasy. That might have been the other reason was the fuse modular frames didn't have enough. Um, actually, do we have... Let's see. God, we still don't have heavy much of the frames coming in. What's going on? Oh, I am gonna have to go back out soon. Shame on me. I don't I wonder what I did wrong. Okay, well let's at least get these going. 
I want to get this the load balancing set up first because it's this is the most uh, low in quantity. What? Oh, it's the one that I have to balance for sure, or else I will definitely have problems. The modular engine is fine because I have all of them made already. Okay. Uh, we're gonna grab those 50. So I'm not yet dying for a right. And can I make this? Not yet, but I wanna. my platform. This might have been too much, but whatever. Is there anything that stacks to less than 50? Other than things that stack to one, like, you know, doggo statues? I'm struggling to think of any. One, two, one, two. Uh, let's grab one, two, three. I feel like there might not actually be. Okay, these maybe go a little faster. Hello Buzzbomb, thank you for the follow! And yes, I am participating in Games Done Quick! It's going to be a blast! Oh, and there's all that concrete. Thank you very much. Uh, that is not going to be on this stream. Uh, that may not be super clear, but uh, I think the stream name is like Games Done... It must be Games Done Quick. Uh, I would recommend following there too if you want to see the event live when it goes down. Uh, it's going to be running that whole week beforehand, um, starting June 26th, I believe. It's pretty entertaining. You get to see lots of games get speedrun. Look at that! We're making thermal propulsion rockets! Yay! Okay, so first of all, I'm going to need to make one, two, three, four of those and. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just get a few of those. All right. Looks like we're good for real this time. Oh, and another refinery. Uh, we are also good there. And in case industrial beam is the only thing, maybe not. All right. But first, we have to go figure out what the heck is up with my mini heavy modular frame factory. high above the clouds you gotta navigate using the map. Agamor, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it very much. Woo! Uh, well that would explain why I'm not getting any gosh darn heavy modular frames, huh? Oh. Always, it's always something so dumb. <laughs> All right, looks like we're good now. <sighs> oh, that's so embarrassing. Well, <laughs> yes. All right, so I'm actually thinking of doing this too. We're gonna get overflow, and we're gonna send that down on its jolly way over here. Um, 
It'll back up for a minute, but we're not going to be gone that long, so I'm not too worried about it. So here's what we're doing. We're saving ourselves the trouble of making a hyper tube cannon for, for one trip. Poor man's hyper tube cannon instead. Wait, hold on. Got charged? Good. Oh! Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, well, that's awkward. I guess I'll just do it again. <laughs> That was not very fast. Oh, it's because this is uphill. There we go. That should be better. There we go. That was worth the time I spent. I think it actually was, though. Just think. One day from now, on Experimental Branch, this will be a totally different area. Woo! Hi, doggos. That's why you stay at full health. We got the rest though? Okay. Is it just me, or is this a remix that sounds like it incorporates a satisfactory soundtrack? That that electric line in the back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. So this is going to be a solid 360. Does 45 divide evenly into 360? Oh, it totally does. Duh. Okay, well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Uh, what is 12 times 45? It's 540, which means that we can actually do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And now we can just up these. Okay, so we got one, two, three. And then we have added four more, which means that this should be enough. I think that that covers it. Once these get their water. Yeah, they'll look at there. Okay. Oh, and then we need to connect them. Huh. And then these are just no, also not connected. This one's just not. Okay, cool. But we are absolutely draining the power a bit though. So, we're going to have to figure out that nuclear thing now.
we need to, we can always make more stuff here too. We still got, I think, one vein and none of these are overclocked. Okay, let's also take care of our overflow. I would hate for that to be a issue down the line. Okay, cool. I'm wondering if I should have made more rubber while I was out there. Uh, it's only Mark 3 into the rubber box. Mark 5 all the way to the Spire Coast. Okay. So these should be covered now. Yeah? Alright. That's what I'm talking about here. Let's top you off. Okay. Woo! And we're also going to go ahead and grab all these. I think it's time we unlock particle enrichment. And we're just going to take that. Here you go. You can have that back. I'm going to keep a little bit in the machines, but for the most part, we're uh, taking. All right. We're gonna at least unlock particle enrichment. I don't think we're gonna start, we may not start using it just yet. Then again, yeah, I think I'll get started on magnetic field generators first. Are you still out of concrete? Oh, of course you are. You needy, needy HMF. I guess that's because I just turned it up, isn't it? Even so, I, I think that I need to increase, I need to enhance. Fortunately, I know just the way This is actually something I can do for all the heavy modular frame stuff to speed it up. Hello Moose! Happy Monday! How are you doing? Alright, we need concrete. Only there was concrete somewhere. What? Concrete! Who could have seen this coming? Yay, Mondays. I couldn't agree more. Take some of this too, actually. All right. So at this whole time, we've been using a single pure concrete or pure limestone node for two constructors. So let's go ahead and do something about that, eh? I think by default we're, we're doing 120, right? Yeah. Let's. So we're going to do 240 per minute. Oh. And then once we do 240 per minute, that can sustain 80 concrete per minute, which I think is six constructors. Two, three, four, five, six. 
in total that'll be six times 45 270 yeah that's good enough a peggle speedrunning event and multiple legs for uh huh I have never heard of peggle what is that That is an interesting way to do speedrun events, though, actually. Kind of cool, to be honest. Kind of like a speedrun elimination thing. That's cool. Always feels good getting world records, especially when you're not going explicitly towards trying to do that. Alright, so, we got this all going. I think now we go make some copper powder. And I know where I want to do that. Let's grab some of these. I'm not actually going to need that many heavy modular frames, but we'll keep a slot at least. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of foundries. Let me do the... I think that I'm going to eventually want three... Pure nodes going at 600 each. 600 divided by 50 means they each need 20. Wow, really? 20 foundries? No, no, sorry, 50. They each need 12 foundries, so I'll need 36 foundries. Great. You shoot all the you shoot a ball with physics and need to hit all orange pegs in 10 lives. Oh, interesting. I have six. Great, and let's go ahead and get these miners allocated as well as the iron ones Woo. and then each three of these so we're gonna have 12 constructors that's pretty cool to hear though Muse, Muse. I, I I hold that Speedrunners are the best at having fun in, in games. <laughs> May not be true. Okay, that should be good. Uh, we're good on cable. We might have taken too many fused modular frames with us. Let's do this before we go. Let's go get some steel pipes. Could do an event like that for satisfaction in the future. That would be awesome. Take those. Cool. And modular frames are going to be a challenge. Uh, let's drop off those. In fact, I only need like 50, probably. Yeah. And then I don't need that many computers. Not that many motors or those. Okay, I think that that would give me more space. Uh, also, I need to start making some. The, the pasta things. <laughs> Two, three. I like to compute what rate I need to work in increments of project parts for this. So if I make three per minute, then we're looking at five hours to completion. Good enough. So I think that's the one, yep. Start with two rounds of package percent that everyone gets to save. It would be cool. Um, 
The one thing that is probably going to be a challenge with it is just having enough people and availability and all that stuff. Because it's a relatively small community. And let's be honest, if I'm a part of it, it's going to be a blowout. <laughs> just kidding. It would be cool to do some kind of competitive stuff, though, with, with satisfactory speedrunning. Like live competition stuff. Okay, so that one's already covered. That means this one. Great. And if I recall correctly, these are going to take two per minute for a total of six. And we are making... Uh, we have four assemblers, right? So we're making five. Or we have three. So we're making seven and a half. Great. And then this needs to be going at double speed in order to do three per minute. Okay, and then last but not least, thermal propulsion rocket. Now, if we're going to be doing this at four per minute, we're going to need four per minute of these. Probably not necessary. Mm, what do you think? So let's say I'm making 900 and I'm making four per minute. <laughs> I, I don't need to finish in the next three hours. So I can probably bump this down a little bit, because that's that's five hours. That's good. Okay, all clad sheets, uh, modular frames is what I need. to make 50 turbo motors, but that, that could be pretty fun. 389, and there we are. Okay. Now, do I have a good amount extra of steel beams and steel pipes? I think so. I think we're fine with this. Um, plastic should not be necessary. Okay. We're not trying to make particle accelerators yet. We're just doing the first step. Copper powder. And then we'll overclock as necessary. Oh, actually, let's double check the nuclear before we leave. Let, we need to fix the nuclear. <laughs> We're at 1,000 supercomputers, a quarter done. Let's make sure these are going 100%. Looks like they're still going 80%. Yeah, which is these guys' fault. What the heck? All right, you know what? help. Mm, I don't want to take from the ACUs though. Maybe I'll just... Actually, how long will 851 last? Uh, it'll give me a thousand ACUs and I am at 4,000 so it'll last for a while but I have to remember to I don't trust myself too. Two point five. Yeah, and we're only making ten per minute. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna split off half of these for now. Uh, is there a speedrun mode with no spaghetti? I mean, it just depends how you define spaghetti, I suppose. I don't consider this to be very spaghetti. <laughs> uh, more seriously, not really. And I think part of it is because, you know, that's not really something you can easily quantify. It's like, what is a messy factory, right? That's a very subjective way to play. No clipping. Ah. Um, yeah, not, not as far as I know. Okay, let's see here. But... That's what I like about Satisfactory, is you have the power to play your way. I know that's kind of a cop-out answer. That would be worse than uh, Dismantleist, though, I will say. And we all know how I felt about Dismantleist.
Oh, too far. Actually, this is fine. Because I can just aim for the Caterium. Which is exactly where I wanted to end up. With 90 degree angles, jeez. Sounds like a challenge. Alright, first miner. Uh, I don't think I need... I'm gonna set this down. Would a satisfactory speedrun with no, um, like, clipping or any of that nonsense, I guess, be the closest thing we have to glitchless? I guess besides glitchless itself. Uh, that was a silly way to put it, but it's an interesting idea. Ooh, power slug. You know what I think about? Uh, I need to make sure that that's going at 300 per minute. Which means that these belts are also not going to work out. You know what? I'm just going to leave it for now. Because I know that there are closer iron deposits anyway. So first I'm going to use a bunch of concrete so that I don't have to worry about it later. Clear out the inventory and all that. Ow. Is this like a world load area? Why is it getting so laggy when I go right here. I think it might be a load spot. Oh! What the... What in tarnation? Where is it? Oh, there he is. No, that's a rhino. This is absolutely a load area. Oh! There you are. We'll try not to cross the border that many times. But I'm definitely gonna have to work like right here. Ugh. Twenty, seven twenty. Actually, I wonder. Seven twenty. How many can I do that with that? Fourteen point four. I guess I can get it up to seven fifty. Eh. Twelve each is really easy to work with, though. Four, five, six, seven. I'll do six. Two, three, four, five, and six.
What is the default again? Oh, 480. That's right. Start loading them in. Oh. This song. Not quite feeling it. No, it's not right now. I'm a man of fickle moods. Alright. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, heal up before I get myself killed. Make both of the Mark III miners out here. Oh, I could probably do a Mark II though. Uh, can I still make one? Yeah. I guess the question is, can I make one for copper and then another one? Oh, I have just enough, so I think I will. Four eighty and four eighty. So those two should be enough for all of the copper. The answer is always yes. You have a great point. Okay, so that's one of our rows. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, I was playing Satisfactory yesterday, I made a, a kind of, you know, cheeky, cheeky joke question. I was like, do you think destroying forests with dynamite is bad for the environment? And he gave me like a really long explanation of like why exactly it is, which is not what I expected. And that's when I learned that people actually do this, <laughs> which is absolutely insane to me. Have you ever wanted a forest not in your way so bad you were willing to just literally destroy it for no no gain other than the space? And the answer for a terrifying amount of people is yes. Okay. Copper powder. Sorry about the uh, loading area. So all together, that gives us 50 per minute, which I think is enough, or excuse me, 100 per minute. And I think each 100 per minute is enough for, yep, is enough for one particle accelerator, aka 0.5. So right now we would get 0.5 nuclear pasta per minute, and then this would make it one nuclear pasta per minute. Let's go ahead and do this. Now I'll point out if we were to do one per minute, 
That would take us 16 hours. It's a little bit much, so we're gonna try to triple that. Update 6 joke is at 6 a.m. the game will drop at hundreds of fix-it employees will have already paved over the new spare goes. Let's rest in peace, old spire coast. I wonder if the net n net number of doggos will go up or down with update 6. In the coast at least. Or uh, globally. The two are probably very similar answers. Months of <laughs> Hannah's work. Oh no. Hannah in shambles. Alright, so this is gonna want another 12 times 25, which is uh, 300 iron, so we're gonna go like that. And then eventually, here's what I was thinking for the last one, is that the last one we use uh, half of each for some amount. 240 per thing, and then eventually it'll work out once it gets its 480 all filled in. There we go. Let's go ahead and plug in. go and let's make our copper powder. I'm probably gonna have to go get more uh, concrete. That's what I get for organizing so much. Jeez. Shame on me. Mm, oh that's so spicy. We're not adding a ton to the power grid right now. Did I just completely forget to check on nuclear after saying I needed to? I think I did. <sighs> okay. So now we are at a total of uh, one, two, th three, four hundred per minute, which could get us two nuclear pasta per minute, cutting us down to eight hours. In theory, that's good enough. But I would like to get a little bit more leeway, lead time. There it is. So we're gonna bring it down a little bit more. And then hopefully by the time we come back we will be in a very good spot. Uh, okay, and then for this, I don't think I really have enough. Yeah, no, so we're just gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, Six. One, two. Three, four, five, and six. All right, great. This, this is the main reason I don't like to do spaghetti a ton, is it actually makes it slower in the cases where you'd, like, try to work around the terrain. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, get all this connected with the grid again. Okay. I 
but thank you. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. I guess they're all good. Okay. Three, four, five, six. All right, cool. I don't know how I pulled that off, but alrighty. And let's go get the rest of that iron. small part of me is glad that I happen to be doing this during the day. I know there are things at night that I don't want to deal with. Of the spooky spidey variety. There's another 0.5. And let's just get one more right up in here. Six hundred per minute, which means three per minute, which means we would be at estimated five-ish hours to get all our cop copper powder. Um, now, I do have to make two hundred thousand, so divided by forty-eight slots per thing divided by five hundred per slot means we need a total of eight containers worth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, so I guess we're good. Forty-eight times. Uh, 500 is 24,000, which means as long as we have, well, we would need 10 of those. Yes, okay. So, one, two, and this one needs to count double. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the boxes a little bit. And this one, especially so. Okay, so. In total, we need each of them to, uh, probably, if we had 96 stacks, 96 times 500 is 48,000, which means that we only need four, four groups. Yep. Okay. So that should be good enough. Uh, and then I will still double this. What if I did 48 plus 24, 72 times 500, 36,000 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 200,000. Okay, so as long as I have that many. Hmm. Oh, you hate to see it. There's that, that's doubled. This is mostly just a contingency in case I don't come back for a while. 
I don't anticipate I will take this long, but at least if I do, I'm safe. Okay. So there's all our nuclear pasta. Good to go. Or our copper powder for the nuclear pasta. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Let's clear the runway. Alright, great. Ooh, parasol. That may not have been Hannah's work, it could have been the other environmental artist. Maybe this was Anna's insp Hannah's inspiration that I'm destroying. I'm sure that makes it much better. Duke of Data, the run goes well. We just finished creating what I think should be all of the... Uh, oh, we gotta go out and... Uh, no, we don't have to do that. We should make more rubber, though. Uh, we just finished creating what should be all of the things I need for nuclear pasta, except for the particle accelerators themselves. That's gonna be next. Let's bump this up to 100. Why not? Live a little... Uh, why is this... Uh, I knew this was gonna back up. I even said it, didn't I? Uh, oh, is the music staticky? Let me... Let me restart that. Usually restarting Spotify is enough. But of course, if my computer freezes when I do it, then I can't fix it. Uh, alright, let's... Get that open again. I'll start running back since it takes a while to start. Thank you. The music sounds good for me, but something about my audio driver sometimes decides, nope. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, let me... What's so quiet? It's so calm. Yeah, let me, let me fly back on over once I get on this hill. Uh, how's it now? Is it all, all good to go? Good to go. Thank you! Unless you meant got to go, in which case, bye! <laughs> Okay, what are you complaining about plastic? Oh. Oh my god, was that? Haha. <laughs> Alright, cool, thank you. Okay, so that should be okay. Cable's actually going a little bit slow, which is interesting. As well as the... Huh? <laughs> well... That's that, okay. Um, okay, those are working. Fix the backup concrete. Thank you! <laughs> I swear to god, my brain. Which means I also need to fix freaking power grid, don't I? Woo! I'm gonna do the. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do the backed up line, because that could actually go help with the pasta. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do heavy modular, and then we're gonna do concrete, and then we're gonna do overflow, and then we're gonna go over here. Oh, I hate it when it does that. And then this one is now going to be overflow. That doesn't help totally yet. I gotta plug this sucker in.
Okay. There we go. Silly me. Okay. And then let's get an awesome shop or awesome sink just in case. I don't anticipate any issues with too many, too much stuff, but can't hurt. You know, that could also explain why things are weird at the uh, power plant, huh? Let's see what we need and we'll just die to jump puzzle. You hate to see it. Um, what? Oh, wait. Okay, so this one's going. Wait. Why are these not. What's happening here? Is this just not working fast enough? Oh, are we not getting enough of these? Aha! Alright, chill out. Um, not enough water. Why? Do I need a pump? Oh, give me a freaking break. Never thought this would be a problem. Let's also fix this before I forget. Okay. Okay, so this should start to get stabilized again soon. I'm slightly... Fluids, I'm telling you, dude. It's too much for me. Oh, oh no! Oh god! <laughs> I'm really tempted to, to break off the grid. Oh lord! Oh, it's no, oh, it's there. It is. Oh god! We did it. Okay, let's let's get this settled. Oh. This is the most hurtful thing I've had to do at this point in the run. I've got like no materials. How much freaking is this good? Oh, that's actually enough. Oh, thank God. Okay. Is it because one of these got a thing? There's another one. Looks like it was in. Okay. Extra stored fuel for some generators too if I need. I don't have any extra stored fuels. That, that's the challenge here is I am trying to get enough fuel to get this going. I think that I've... <laughs> Four biomass burners is enough to get. Yeah, honestly, I was a little bit surprised. Okay, looks like. Let's see. Looks like this is starting to work out. Okay. Oh, my heart. Okay, let's get everything put back together. I think that we are safe. Really? I should have enough from that. Right? Five gigawatts. Oh, man. This sucks. 
I gotta go to my other biomass burners and get them all get them all turned on. Oh right, I don't have any power. I can't use the hover pack. Oh <laughs> Basically on brand now, yeah. It wouldn't be an epiphany speedrun if it wasn't me breaking the power grid. Ugh. Freaking unbelievable. Glad I took care of this cat. Oh yeah, late game power outages. I've had one before, it's um not a good time. Not a good time. It is a little bit of a death spiral. But I'm I think that this should be enough biomass burners that if I just fill them all up oh the plant was dying while you were <laughs> wow two one but Question is how much of this I should do. Everything about this sucks. Guess that wasn't enough. actually need those. Okay, let's get back out to the nuclear. Oh, that was some movement mechanics. Please. Okay. I wanna, I guess, get to 10 gigs and I'll be safe. So that's going. Is this still going at 100%? Okay, it is. These are working. Oh, I have to wait like a mi I have to wait like two minutes for this to work. Ah. Uh. Oh, get a couple stored up so they all kick in together. That's an idea. Yeah, I can get on board with that. Also, I'm just gonna... This is gonna really mess up the proportions of everything. But I can just empty the sulfuric acid if I must. So we wanna get this going faster. And once these, see these have to finish once though, that's the thing that sucks. So I have to just wait. <laughs> so close. I'm going to use the bathroom while I wait.
Okay. This will hopefully help. Let's get this back on. I know it's only a buffer of two, but that's gonna be pretty significant, right? Oh, yeah, oh! Let's get back in. Oh, give me a freaking break. No. Really? Okay, I guess we're not yet. Every problem now is just a future time save. Yeah! Okay, I guess I have to wait until I'm at... Uh, just pull it a few more times. I don't trust that. Usually two is... If it's not two, then it's not going to work. I'm going to wait till this one gets one. Should be soon. Uh, yeah, I, I have a lot that I need to rebalance before I leave. So I'm, I'm not too stressed about it. I guess I could just figure out the balance for it right now, huh? So if I am going for 60, it's not like I don't have the time for this right now anyway. 96 minus 24 means that's 72. So I take this to 50 and then this would be 22, 50 to 72, okay. So that will be perfectly balanced as all things should be. And then this is now doing 60 per minute. 60 to 1 means, uh, or I, I would be doing 30, um, which is 30% of 1, right? Or, yeah, so 0. 0.6. Idle, ugh. This can handle two at 120, I believe, right? Do I dare? Okay, so that's burning, that's burning. Are these burning yet? Burning. And burning. Okay, so it looks like we are, we should have, we should be fine. Okay. Okay. Oh! We're alive! Oh my god. Okay. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's make sure that this is all balanced and then get out of here. Holy crap, that was... Oh, autosave, right after I saved the grid. It's fitting. Okay. So, in order to do... Yeah, so this wants to do... I want to do 0.6 per minute for each of these. That means they'll each be taking 30 in case industrial cell. This is, of course, making 60. Okay, great. <sighs> wow. What a, what a thing that happened. <clears throat> okay, and so, because these take, how long to burn? Wait, do they go idle when they don't need to... Why is it paused? Is it like biomass burners? I thought everything produces at a constant rate if it can. Or is it just so slow? Oh, it's just that slow. <laughs> okay. Woo! Okay, so I think... They've been five minutes, okay. Let's go buy some, let's go get some supercomputers and, uh, triple this up, maybe. Because we haven't made any particle generators yet, particle accelerators. 
Those take like a gigawatt each, if that's right. So I think if I make two more, we'll be we'll be set. Like for for the rest of the run. <sighs> oh, this should have been doing six per minute. I guess that doesn't matter too much. Average is at one gigawatt. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking um, if I make, I want to go for at least uh, like eight. So having two more of them will maybe 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 I won't be set, but it'll be close. Okay. Let's. How long are we looking at? Four hours? This is a 10% efficiency though. Is that a 10%? That seems very low. 60% needs more casings, I guess? I can't tell what it's low on. It is fused, okay. Right, because it's only three per minute. That's silly me. Okay. We're actually gonna... Yeah, five hours to finish is reasonable. So what I'm gonna do instead of this is I'm gonna go here. And we're gonna take from that one. Thanks for all your stuff. I'm feeling just like residual stress from that whole situation. Okay. I'm starting to think maybe this was too much concrete. Maybe I should make a second line for it. Okay, but first things first. We need to do... Well, see, now I have three gigawatts extra. If I built the geothermal, I haven't unlocked geothermal. So, no. Alright, we should be able to make two more generators pretty easily. And then let me get... Uh, I'll probably have to make a Mark III miner up there. No, I just did that. I can overclock it. Okay. I'm gonna do blender, refineries, uh, water extractors, and I think it was a manufacturer. Okay. I went too far. <laughs> I think maybe now we do start making ADSs though. Three, four, five, and... I can probably start making them at... Four per minute. To start. Though I need to... No, I should just go to the full eight. Steel beams? I mean steel pipes. Oh gosh. Forgot about those. You know, just Are they still going at hundred percent? Nice. I'll take those. Oh, 
Oh, we have so much slack now. I love it. Okay. How are we doing here? 72 out of a thousand. Are they still going at? Oh no, they're not. Why are they not? That should be three per minute, right? 75, 42. Okay, well, I don't fully understand what's happening here, but. Maybe it had to do with the uh, power grid failure, actually. Okay, then we'll just drop. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to my FMFs. Okay, we're fine on cooling systems. Let's do this now. Six, seven, eight, nine. Could have been 1.21 gigawatts. I don't understand that reference if it is a reference. Back to the few oh god. I saw that like uh at least ten years ago. I remember very little of that movie. I'm sorry. I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, but I have to own my truth or something like that. Okay, so now we're doing what's that? One, two, three, four, five, seven point five per minute. Alright, let's do a little bit more. Maybe that makes me a bad person that I haven't seen Back to the Future. That's just who I am. Pop culture reference. That's quitters talk. We have to know everything. <laughs> All right, let's get a stack of this. Boop. Let's make sure these are going. Hundo P. Great. Woo, turbo motors. So these are now going. Uh, that's good enough speed. Oh, I guess it wouldn't really update the productivity just be just purely because it takes so long to do a single iteration that interesting. I never thought about that. All right, more power. And all the things. Shit, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Mm. 
<clears throat> spilled my water on myself. Is that karma? Okay. I don't need that much cable. What am I doing? I don't need that much wire. I don't need that much. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go overclock our uranium. Look, we have 11 ADSs. Wow. Oh, speaking of which, we need to make magnetic field generators. Post haste. Um, though we are making enough batteries, and I think we are good on all the pieces, aren't we? As long as we have 4,000 of these suckers, we're pretty set on the batteries. Versatile framework should be good. Where the hell did I store those? Oh, I remember where. We can actually check. Um, but let me at least make sure that electromagnetic control rods are not overbooked in their hotel. Oh, I picked one up like that. Okay, cool. And I think in total I have to make 4,000. So we're 1,200 of the way there. Uh, that means 20. Yeah, we got two hours left till we get that. Should be fine. Clock us some uranium. Is it true that there are no pure uranium nodes? At this point in time, I have only ever used this one impure node up here. Correct. Damn. I guess that. The next question I have is, what is the maximum uranium per minute that you can that you can mine? Three normal one. Oh, this is the only impure one. Okay, so you can in theory get like nine. You could get like a thousand per minute. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Twenty one hundred. Oh, okay, even better. You know what? You've been doing your job fine. We'll give you all 300 per minute. Uh, okay, so let's see. I think I'll just continue making them out where I did, though. The others are in the caves, yeah. I didn't know that part. Okay. Oh look, see now we're fine. Jeez. Okay, so these are actually making an extra point <laughs> Oh no. They're making an extra point four per minute total. Which means with this Ooh, this is risky. Around the unmentionables. <laughs> Okay, so we have a total of 1.2 per minute, and these burn at 0.4 per minute, right? Wait, no, that's not right. They burn at 0.2 per minute. So for making 1.2, something is wrong with my with my thinking. I think I can just make two more power plants already. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to find out what happens. Oh, is that is that what nuclear waste is like? <laughs> or is it this? It might be that. Oh wait, this is... I'm going to need a pump for all the water. I don't want to do that. Okay, 
Is that good? There we go. For nuclear power. All right, let's go ahead and uh, amp up our waste facility crap. This is where you want to load balance more than usual. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Speaking of which, how are we? We're still in the first box, aren't we? Dang. Easy peasy. No problem. Okay. So I didn't even have to overclock that, but oh well, now I did. So those should be good now. It'll probably be a while before we see a power bump, but... Hello, I'm Nikki05. How are you doing today? The guy that came up with the spider said input on the swamp through skin? Please no. Oh, you Nikki? All right, sounds good. Okay. So we're doing eight ACUs per minute. You know, I'm kind of tempted to overclock them just for now, so we can work through some of this extra load. Yeah, well, we've already created uh, more than half of all the ACUs we need, so let's do that. I don't really need to worry about the power, so we're just gonna front load them all. Boop. Great. Uh, I don't need any of this now. Yeah! <sighs> Let's do our... Um, MFGs. So watch my VOD from last week. Welcome to the spoiler zone, then. <laughs> I don't have to tell you what happened. <laughs> you, you you can wait till you see the vod of uh When was the exciting part of this run? Like an hour ago? <laughs> Woo. Me dying is not a spoiler. That's that happens. Uh, it was not particle enrichment. I mean, we did get particle enrichment. Um, oh, that was only an hour ago. So I guess it was like 30 minutes ago. It just was so. It was just so crazy. It just feels like ages, I suppose. All right. So five of these will make. Is it five per minute? Do they do one per minute at the? I think they do. For magnetic field generators. I'm gonna wanna up this more, but better five than zero, am I right? Okay, so we'll need to just load balance the crap out of this. Oh, I did five. <laughs> Why did I do five? Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna eventually go to 12, so... Maybe I do... 
and threes. The old triplicate. So we got one of these going to battery, one of these going to versatile framework, one to electromagnetic control rods. Packed. Uh, yeah, I can do a smart splitter for this. Versatile framework, electromagnetic control rod. Oh, this is a bad idea, actually. I'm not going to do that. We'll just do one at a time. Uh, when did I unlock Smart Splitter? It was a while ago. It wasn't last VOD. I think I had it. Mm, I'm actually not sure now that I think about it. I tried to unlock it sort of soon because I had picked up a lot of AI limiters, so I was able to make use of it. Grab the batteries. I think it was probably in the second, yeah. Okay, 6,000. That feels a little bit lower than I would have expected. I see a yellow beacon, which means something's up. Water. Of course. Why would it not be? I thought I... Oh, I did. <laughs> it's stupid. Ah. Every time. Okay. At least it's plugged in. Haha. <laughs> They're not hurting for coal. Okay. So that'll help. Don't set up your machines halfway, kids. You will regret it immediately. build I was trying to build the other way. Ah oh, well. I can use that one for versatile frameworks. Why are these okay that's fine. Take this one to the versatile frameworks. Can you see how I did the aluminum factory? Oh boy. I have actually not done an extensive aluminum setup, I will say. Um, I don't know, you might find it pretty light. Alright, we're at 8,000. Which means that in order to create the 10,000 we need, we need another 1,400. Uh, and if we're making 10 a minute, that means it's two more hours. That feels slow. I need to check that out. But first, let's get what we have. Two hours is plenty of time. It's just I don't know if it is actually producing 10 per minute. God, look at all these belts. It's so beautiful. 
exquisite chaos. Oh, looks good. We have enough HMFs, that's nice. Okay, and this is going 100% still, which is fantastic. Is this? Oh, thank goodness. And we're at 133. Whew! Did I not? Oops. Okay. Let's grab a few of these. <laughs> That's probably fine. <laughs> Why go to the box that they're all feeding into when I can just... Alright, this is a very roundabout belt, isn't it? Okay. There we go, that should be all of it. And we now have six per minute. I want to get this to eight though. I just need heavy modular frames to do it. Maybe I'll do nine. Hmm. What would 9 per minute give me? 7 hours? Oh jeez, no I need 12 at least. Which means I also need way more of this. We'll have to build more of those. Believe it or not I did that for a reason. Boom! And then I go, boom. This way I don't have to pause the machine. Uh, and then I can do this. Voila. The machine. <laughs> Hi. I wonder if I could do a full, like, what is three, three times would be nine, had <laughs> 27 per minute, that, that might be a bit much, even for me, but I mean, okay, well at least I'll do as many as I can build manufacturers. Okay, so this gets us to, oh, and I still only did two here, so let's get the third. Oh. There we go. So that is splitting it in two. Let's get another two split. Sometimes I just want to make it worse. 
Just for the sake of making it worse a little bit. I don't know how to describe it. I just feel chaotic. But like in a good way. <laughs> See, it's funny because I play D and D, but I am definitely always like. Actually, no, I'm kind of chaotic good when I play D and D too. That's just how I end up playing. So maybe this is maybe this does fit. All right, let's go turn him in. <laughs> let's give it a shot. Oops, I joshed all over this speed run. Oh, there we go. Missing concrete, okay. Just get it right there. That seems good. Okay. Look at that. Alright, we got everything except the pasta. Machine steps on belt. It looks like my room. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. We are at 200. Are we please? 100%? 97? Good enough? I'll take it. I will take it. Alright. Uh, 96. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, okay. So if I'm gonna make... 8 of these... Oh gosh. Should just make another one. Shouldn't I? Yeah. So you use Blade Runners when moving this direction, because you can use the conveyor belts. And then the jetpack, the other direction. Perfect system. Uh, okay. I also need to get 800 electromagnetic control. F4, that's what I'm saying. Yeah! Okay, hold on. So if I'm... Uh, if I'm making 12 per minute, that means I need to have been making 12 per minute. But I was making 20. So it should be okay. Um, even so, I think that what we're gonna do is we're just gonna save ourselves the trouble. Wait. Can you not... I thought you could buy electromagnetic control rods. Can you not? I thought that was a purchasable item. Do I have to... Uh, do I think I can get world record? I think it's possible, yeah. Hmm, I don't know what I could possibly be missing that would... I mean, I guess I could just research this anyway. Shoot. I don't know. Oh god, that's a lot of... Oh, no. Uh... It wouldn't be this. It wouldn't be... No. Okay, well, I guess I'm not buying electric magnet magnetic control rods. Um... <laughs> okay. That's fine. So we have to turn 971 into... I think those get halved, which means that that would make me 450, uh, which would put me at 600. How many more does that mean I have to make? I think that means I can I can definitely afford to take these out. Okay. Pulling systems. Mm, I don't want 
wanna take it from yeah, I'll take it from this one. It's not purchasable. Wow. I had no idea. Well, today I learned. Take 50 from you. 50 from you. It's actually better for me to take it from this one. There we go. Now we're at 400 to make 8. And then fused modular frames. Those are the ones that are going to get dicey. And I think maybe I should just produce more. I don't have any power slugs, do I? Uh, I guess I'll go get some. In the meantime... We'll do that. And we'll just do a little bit... Yeah, we'll even put it in the same box. I don't care. Will I ever do a proper... What is a proper Let's Play? I have, in, in a way. Uh, RCU and cooling systems are not? I know you can't get fused modular frames. I thought you could buy RCUs. Uh, but you can buy supercomputers. That's crazy. I could be willing to oblige. It just depends, uh, Nikki, on what your definition is. To be honest. Because I've played... I've played a quote-unquote normal game that's like 150 hours and I just got nuclear. Uh, let's just get a big old stack. I've done, like, I, I've done a game that I was not speedrunning strictly, but I did finish uh, the fourth package in like 50 hours. Um, that was more for fun. I was not quite this chaotic. I was still a little bit, but that's just because of how I play, in case you haven't figured that out yet. Um, yeah, so it, it's a little bit hard for me to say whether I'd do a normal playthrough, because it depends what normal is for you. Grabbing up to 800. I think that the challenge I would face if I were to do a, I'll, I'll for the sake of argument, a normal uh, speed run. The challenge, the biggest challenge that I would face doing it now is that I know. I feel like I know too much about how to play the game fast that it would actually be really, really difficult for me to not play it, at least to some capacity in this way. I I have played with a, a focus on like organization uh, and trying to make like a really nice factory. Um, so I, I know that I can, it's just not, not really the way I enjoy playing the game to some extent. Like I, I like doing this kind of stuff though. I would like to spend more time in my normal world sometimes, doing better organized things. Use the sandwich layers. Yeah, that's actually the one thing I would have to learn a lot about when it comes to speed uh, to, to normal playthroughs. How to make belt things that look good. <laughs> and yeah, I have not prioritized it, obviously, uh, when it comes to learning. Okay, so I don't need this many. I don't even need the modular frames. Let me equip these for the space. Mm, I wish I could just buy the fused modular frames. This is such a pain in the butt. Or the or the the um, shards. I think I can take the shards out of here. Belt techniques I had. Are these belt techniques for aesthetics or also for uh, function? Because I, I think I have learned a decent amount of functional belt techniques from, from Let's Players and I actually enjoy that pretty decent amount. Okay, let's see. We're also going to get our heavy modular frames moving in here. Is this the right one? It has to be. Yeah, 
Okay, it goes in there, and then that one, yep. I do like some, there are some really cool belt techniques uh, that I do think are just super cool, super neat. Um, well, we can build, is that just one particle accelerator for, oh, we can build two particle accelerators. Maybe I'll get started with that. Not super important. All right, drop off my extra motors. Where are those? Those go here. I'm fine on motors, actually. And let me go get some all clad sheets, and then I think we'll be good to go. Make some particle acceleration happen. Oh! Oh, this is spicy a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I think maybe I need to... Oh yeah, I need to check on those versatile frameworks too. Both aesthetic and functional. It likes glass boxes, though. Oh, interesting. I like glass setups, too. I'm not very good at them. I have a very terrible eye for design. I will say that much. I'm not a great designer. Okay, let's see here. So you, let's turn you back into... Sheets. I can probably unstand by a couple of these. Okay. So what else was I gonna do? I was gonna check on these two. Oh hey. That was a yellow beacon. Oh, barely though. Let's let's just drop a few more in though. Toss you a few schmeckles. And we can clear out all this. That'll be good. It's definitely going at 10 per minute, so we'll be fine. It's just so weird that it would take this long to, to make all 10,000. That's what, a thousand minutes? A thousand minutes in groups of 60 is... 600 minutes is 10 hours. I guess that's fair. <laughs> it's only been 23 hours. My problem when it comes to making aesthetic things is that I always get too compact. I have like a tendency to over over compact my factories and then I don't give myself enough room to work with. Also, I learned that 
trying to make a really organized factory before you understand the logistics of what you're working with is not like you're going to set yourself up for failure. And so I actually feel like I would be much more open to doing something like that now, now that I've learned a lot about how you can logistically put it all together. Yeah, let's get a slug. What's going to meet us here? Anything? And so I, in a way, that's actually, I'm really glad that I picked up speedrunning because it, oh, I hate that it does this. It, it taught me enough about, like, how to actually, like, play the game that now I feel comfortable. I would, I would feel much more comfortable. I didn't get all cloud sheets. Um, I guess I can just do it with these for now. All right? Yeah. I, I would feel a lot more comfortable playing, playing a game normally. I shouldn't have gone around it this way. Should I have? Oh, especially not. I know what's I know what's near here. Oh. Clear, we're clear. No, no cats. <laughs> There's definitely one around here. I just don't know exactly where. I don't really want to find out. Tell me crazy, but not my vibe. Oh, found them! <laughs> All right, we're just gonna stay up here and pray that the power grid doesn't go down. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dixper's not on. Nice try, Saren. Great flat factory. Okay, so I guess I'll just start close and then build further out later. Alright, let's get this show on the road, eh? And let's, oh, how's this gonna go? <laughs> Is this a bad idea? Maybe I'll tone it down to just, okay, or it just won't, there we go. I feel like it would be entertaining though, to be honest. Just to see. Huh? Oh, is it too sharp? <laughs> no, the power grid's fine. Look. Uh okay, maybe it's not. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> All right, so we're not gonna do that with the next one. <laughs> Only 200. Oh. oh, that's a lot of power. Oh, but it'll be over soon. Uh, yeah, this, is, this is fine. I, yeah, it's fine. I need to make more. Okay, so we have an hour till these are done with their shenanigans. And... I guess I'll just make a box for the for the completed parts. Wait. Oh. Offset the cycle. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Good thought, good thought. Oh, shit. I should take those out. 
I mean, we do have plenty of battery power. Maybe I just leave it for a bit to get a head start on everything while I build the rest of the modular frames. Like, I don't think that I can get into a situation where it breaks the grid. At least not without me knowing. So I think that's probably safe. Uh, alright. Actually, let me try and get this a little bit more about. No, no, I just need to... I just build more. Are we good? Okay. Ah, I would want to do it with a hover pack. I can do that. Yay, hover packs. your eyes and look forward. Did I see a power slug? Thank you. I don't know if I'm gonna need them, but it's... Oh, I can uh, beef up magnetic field generators with these, actually. That'll be useful. I think I will do that. If I can get magnetic field generators done sooner, then I can just not worry about them anymore. Though I guess that also goes for assembly director systems. As long as I don't go above 20 per minute on the electromagnetic control rods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We are safe. Are these 74% still? Okay. These are going... Okay. These are going 100% now. Which means that we are making 5 per minute? Taking out what we already have, which is 1, 2, 3, 6, 12. That's 600. We're at 1,000 and we need to make. Oh, do we have 10 hours of supercomputer production left? That sounds bad. Though I can always buy more if I need to. So I guess that's okay. Let's go get those fused modular frames. I got long arms. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, cool. We got... So that's 220. We're almost a quarter of the way done making the pressure conversion cubes. And I almost have enough fused modular frames.
Uh, how much power do I have in total? Let me check in a moment. I'm gonna keep 100, I guess. I might only need 50, but can't hurt. Uh, right now I'm at 22 gigawatts, more or less. I think 15 of it is nuclear. And then the other six or seven is um, coal. Coal and petrocoke. I guess some biomass technically, but we don't talk about that. Uh, we're doing fine on that. They were 80% when I left the particle accelerators. Oh, what, what am I at now? 70? Oh yeah, yeah, I should uh, undo that. See, now I can build more though. That's what I was concerned about is I wanted to make sure that I could, I need to keep production up and the batteries are a tool to do that. So I used part of the tool and now I can go out and ease the load before I experience ultimate suffering. We ah! <laughs> Oh, that was further than I intended. Okay, we're good. All right, let's uh, undo that a little bit. What is the difference in power here that we're looking at? <laughs> it starts, it's just, ah. yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> hey, but we already have 12. Okay, so we're gonna do four. I think I can make one more. with the amount of copper powder that I'm making, which is 400 per minute, I think that I can do a total of, uh, yeah, four of these. Oh, but I have a big buffer. That's right. I was like, why is that, why is that fine? <laughs> so let's go take it from this one this time. This one's going to be interesting because we're going to have to split it. go but a bing okay skittish and bus raid with the party of 61 hello <laughs> valid streamer i love it so much every time hello welcome raiders how's it going all welcome to the chaos that is me speedrunning nuclear pasta uh, let's see here Okay, let's do a little bit of... How's your stream? How'd everything go? Bucket of pasta for one, please. Would you like that with or without cats? There's one... Uh, no, it despawned because it's daytime. Whew. Let's go ahead and split this up a little bit here. Wes had a bit of a bad time for Sarah, but we turned it off and on again, and her deck started working. Well, I'm glad it glad she got it resolved. Let's 
So the question is, do I make a drone to get the, the frames out here? I think I do, probably. Okay, well maybe I should have thought about that before I got here without stuff for a drone for it, huh? Well, that's fine. I need to make another trip anyway to get building materials. Uh, there we go, okay. Let's do that. What a fluke! Thank you for the follow! You love my belting, no lie? Oh man. If you just got here, wait till I get back. It gets better. Let's see if I catch the power. It did, nice. My favorite technique that I've been using this run is... Why bother with um, hyper tubes? They bother. They they use power. You got to maintain them. They can only go from one place to another. Why not just use Mark V belts and a jetpack? Where can I order pasta by the bucket? Depends. Do you have <laughs> apparently five gigawatts for, to spare? We just learned that you don't want to overclock your uh, particle accelerators to two hundred percent. Oh, I hate this this geometry right here. Gotta go around it. There we go. Just need more reactors. It's true, we are only at six. And I got the materials to make I guess another six. What does fix it need with all this stuff? I it's best not to ask. Okay, let's see here. So we are at 680 S's now. Two reactors for one pasta to, I mean, that's a lot. Okay, we are finally at 41, that's good news. Let's go ahead and fill... Was this the box? This was the box. Let's fill this back up with those. Okay, cool. We're still making 9 ACUs per minute, which means that the next 4,000 will take... Uh, 7 hours feels a bit much, actually. There's no way that's how long it's estimated. We have 35 minus the 1,200 we've already made. Uh, so I guess we need 3,000. Okay, so we're looking at about five hours left on the ACUs. Ooh, let's go ahead and uh, do what we came here to do. Right. Drone pour. We want two of those. We want a drone. Let's go get those high-speed connectors. The one thing you'll learn watching this stream is that I get distracted incredibly easy. We had a uh, power outage earlier, and it was purely because I forgot that the whole reason I came back to the base was to check on the power grid and then left and then surprise no power <laughs> have you ever had to get a grid back online when you're using nuclear power and coal only it's not fun would not recommend oh god I need more all clutch sheets don't I okay and more aluminum casings oh boy Maybe I'm good on the casings? Oh, I'm good on the casings. Okay. So we'll repurpose another... ...constructor. Get to our hypertube. I think that's the furthest I've made it on one of those launches. Uh, experimental, they said it's going to drop around 5 p.m. Central Eastern Standard Time, CEST. 
Uh, I don't know how long ago or how long from that is now, but they also have a stream for most of tomorrow, starting in about six hours, I think, where they're gonna be. I don't know. I guess counting down to it. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it sounds like it should be pretty good. Uh, so if you are awake, I will not be because that is 5 a.m. my time. But would recommend uh, giving that a watch if you want to see it go down live. Okay, let's see here. Let's just get that in there. Yeah, okay. So let's do this. We're going to switch this back. It'll be 5 p.m. Central European. Oh, summertime! That makes so much more sense. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me being American. Right. Well, today I learned. Okay. Imagine being American? Yeah, who would dare? Uh-oh. Is it time to make more nuclear power? Oh, yes it is. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get the let's see if we can speed up the nuclear stuff without having to turn off pasta. I think it might be doable. But I only have like 10 minutes to do it. Let's see if I have what I need. Uh I will want that. That a blender, two refineries, and a bunch of those. Ah. I'll clutch sheets. Okay, I can buy I can buy most of this. Can I can I uh reactor overclocking wouldn't work because I so I, I can buy most of this, this is fine. I have fifty six coupons. Specifically for stuff like this. Um overclocking them wouldn't work because I don't make enough fuel cells, so I would just fall on my face anyway okay that's good 70 okay and then EIBs that's easy I just go here that rich boy I would have bought fused modular frames a year ago if I could have all right so we're just gonna get three cuz I'm feeling crazy with my cash uh, and then all clutch sheets I I can be smarter about that at least uh, we'll go, okay. Flying Viking with the subscription, thank you. I appreciate it very much, my friend. All right, we're gonna go boop, boop, boop. All right, this is probably good, yeah, 127. I think that should be enough. Let's just get some more of these. this should be enough. If it doesn't have stuff going on it constantly, it's probably fine. How are we doing time-wise? Um, I mean, I feel like things are going well. If I can keep it at a good pace, the biggest challenge is going to be... Uh, Alright, let's build these first. The biggest challenge for me is going to be... Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, whatever. I have food. Gonna be keeping the power grid alive and finishing the nuclear pasta in a good amount of time. So right now I'm making I think two per minute, uh, which is an estimated time of whatever 500 minutes works out to. I think it's close to 10 hours. And right now I think that's my most likely issue uh, if it were to be about beating the world record, which I mean that that's the goal. So okay. So let's see. We're gonna. I would also like to say for the record, I am currently learning a lot about how radioactive things can get. <laughs> I didn't realize that it spread this far as soon as you got a significant amount going, so this is learning experiences across the board. Alright, one, two, three. 
Then again, if it gets that bad... Oh, okay, we're not doing that. If it gets that bad, I can also research hazmat suit. Can't afford... Ugh. Yeah, I can always research hazmat if I need to. But I think it'll be fine, right? So that's why you're all saying that I should just do this way over here, huh? Uh, I can also build the stuff further inland pretty easily. So I can just do this. Okay, and then if I recall correctly. Oh, I can't really overclock this because I don't think I have slugs for it. Oh, I do have two slugs, okay. I suppose I could also just make two blunders, but that would be silly. Okay, now's a good time to check on the grid. Uh, if I have less than 10 minutes left, I'm gonna go... Oh, it's close. It's gonna take like two minutes to produce the cell too. Maybe I should turn down the nuclear pasta for a minute. Why don't I use Mark II Pipeline? Because... No particular reason. Most of the time it doesn't matter. I know that I use it when it does matter. Um, but... I just usually end up clicking Mark I, and so that's what I use. For me, Mark II has very limited... specific use cases. And they're usually not common enough for me to care. Okay, let's get some copper sheets. Okay, there's the, there's the warning that I'm about to have a bad day. So I think I'm going to just do the safe thing. I don't want another grid break. Slosh is more than Mark 1, 2? What does that mean? <laughs> is that a good or a bad thing, I guess, is a better question. How many power storages am I earning? Only like 20. Not that many. Mostly because uh, a lot of the time I would I've been kind of short on modular frames frequently. Backflow issues. Okay, interesting. Well, the more you know. I could just build another nuclear factory elsewhere too. Now that I think about it, but that would be no that that would be a terrible idea. Okay. I'm, we're just turning these down to 50. 50, 50, 50. If I have to, I can also put one on standby. Okay, this one will drop, on, drop low on the grid. That should give us a lot of leeway. And fortunately, I have more fused modular frames, so I can make up for the drop in speed. need to do it like that. I can just do it this way. Uh, I already got that box. I didn't get this one. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. This line goes to this box. This box has already got one. 
These two lines go to this box. This box is going to two. Yeah. This box goes to that one. Okay. And then that means that the two subterranean ones... Oh, maybe I didn't get this. Wait, one... Heh. <laughs> They're on the thing, huh? That one goes to that. Oh, wait. Oh, I made seven. Ha! <laughs> that'll, that'll do it. Okay. Okay, that's good, actually. That means that... Oh, shoot. I didn't turn these down. <laughs> I don't think it'll be the end of the world, though, because... Yep, things are starting to get back into charge mode. Great. So, I could also mitigate some of this problem by just building a lot more nuclear plant... Uh, nuclear things, right? Because I could have up to eight at point twenty five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could have six at full speed or twelve at half speed. Ooh. Yeah. I think I'd go for twelve at half speed. Though maybe I should just make nuclear anyway. <laughs> So hopefully I can turn that up as soon as possible, but at least we are safe, pretty sure. speed. There we go. I could also uh, remove the overclocking on some of my manufacturers to save a little power. I've been a little bit liberal with that. I'm just making them where I end up so I can hopefully take advantage of this in the future. Alright, let's get some all-clad sheets and make more nuclear power. That's good. Oh, we're low on copper sheets. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I can just buy some, I suppose. Yeah, I need to get some. Buying some is not gonna last me very long, though. But I know where to go first. <laughs> Dude, I would go for popcorn right now. Sounds good. Alright, there we go.
Please tell me those are going 100 now. Yay! Okay, how are our stacks of supercomputers looking? We're looking at about 600 extra buffer. We're going to need to make 3,500 more. And we're going to how fast again? At 5? Wait. Wow, really? Okay, looks like we're going to be buying a lot of supercomputers potentially. Oh, that was a bad move. Ow, my legs. Don't die to oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go get some. What? Floor is too steep. There is no floor. Okay, that's what I did here. So we'll split off that. Fifty, and then this one's gonna go fifty, though. By default, they want forty each, right? Okay. So we're gonna do thirty. For each of these and then we're just gonna make two blunders Okay, and then concrete. We'll get the uranium in a minute. I'm intentionally doing that one last. So this will be the uranium eventually. And then let's get, oh no, let's get the concrete too while we're here. Okay, there's no, yet, yet stupid. Okay, there we go. So this will get us a total of... ...50 per minute. Hello, Yamada. What end time are we looking at? Hopefully less than 30. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be less than 30, but it's gonna be kind of close to that 20 40 and how much are we making we're making 50 so let's do a third one at half speed where is there we go okay and this one's gonna be at 50% control rods. So I think in total these three together give me one per minute. One per minute will last me five? Is that? I keep getting it mixed up. Yeah, I think it'll last me five. Alright, so let's go get that. Let's see, it should be that. And then this is my, yep. Okay, let's get this started. Go. 
Where are those? Uh, we're gonna have to double this guy, aren't we? Yeah. So let's just do this. Should now be making enough, I think. Uh, two. Oh no, I need to make five per minute. All right, maybe I'll just do the simple. Yeah, I'll do the simple. Remove that one. Oh, that was bad. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> We're good. Uh, I will be keeping my ECRs though. It'll just take a minute. Okay, so yeah, we'll have enough for four instead. But I mean, that's a pretty comfortable amount. And let's see, did I already make four? I only made three. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, get some of these all class sheets back. Acid become locked when that fills and overflows. Yes, thank you. But I need to get these to 20 per minute. In fact, I don't really need to do splitting anymore, but it's fine. So I think at 20 per minute, then we're looking at something a little bit different. So I'll let this finish and we'll see. Eight, 32 minus 8, so we need to make 24 each. Don't save yet! Okay, you can save now. Okay. The radiation level... Okay. This is a good place for me to be right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm making responsible choices with my health. Okay. So, let's get this moving along. Alright, so we can do four of these, I believe. But let's do a little load balancing first. That's enough for two. Great. Oh, cable. Haha, <laughs> damn it. I guess I do have to get going then. But we'll at least get this started, I guess. Some deep water. 
Okay, now let's get three more of these. I'll just make all six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Stoop a little bit. Right, give me a power pull. Yeah. All right. I don't think I can make that last one because I need a hundred cable. Okay. Should probably go get some food when I when I go back. Just to be safe. But we are at 26% power, yeah, we got a little time. Ideally, I would be at above 100% health so that I, uh, a bad fall doesn't, doesn't wreck me. That would be unfortunate. Because I have been known to fall. No, it is not sending enough AI limiters and transistors yet. Uh, which just occurred to me is a danger to the current grid. But I can... I, I did refill a decent amount, so it should be okay for now. In fact, I could just send electromagnetic control rods directly, potentially. When I finish magnetic field generators, that part will get a lot easier, actually. But for now, I also need to make sure that it's sending enough sulfur. So let's go get some all clad sheets. And then some cable, and then... Upgrade our sulfur. Uh... You know what? We're gonna do it the, the silly way. This is how we get all clad sheets now. Yeehaw. I might just switch to Mark III default. I think I will. Unless I like really need Mark V. All right, we still have four thousand. Four thousand will get me a uh, not four hundred, but eight hundred. Okay. Uh, excuse you. What? Huh? No, I'm not talking to you, random boy. What the heck? something else on here? Oh, it's when I messed up the thing and I forgot about it. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, well. It's okay, better late than ever. We are producing 80 per minute, which in terms of magnetic field generator is like, uh, Eight batches, 16 per minute. So we, yeah, we have a stockpile and we are overproducing. So it's actually not bad. Just a little scary. Uh, okay. So what did I need? I needed to upgrade the sulfur. Thank goodness for stockpiles, am I right? You know, this is actually an okay amount of sulfur. I guess we're fine. The question is why it's getting lower later. This part is good.
Or did it? Oh, it's... Speaking of bad mark on belts. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was the whole problem. Uh, okay. Are we... Nope, we're still not producing enough copper sheets. Um... Did I make all the generators? I don't think I did. I think I needed one more. And for that I need a cable. That's right. None of casings. Oh, this is this is so freaking. Mm. Th this is where the oof comes into play. This one does have to actually be Mark V. You good? Okay. You not good? Didn't plug you in. How do we keep getting these? Okay, what is what is up with this? Shenanigans. Okay, we'll we'll solve it backwards. Maybe we can't do that. Don't tell me I still have a bad connection or something. I think I might. Uh, I, th I meant to change the belt first, but I must not have done it correctly. I clearly missed something. Okay, what's going on here? Nope. I did not change it back. Oh. Okay. So let's see. We're actually gonna. <laughs> I think that the right move here is actually to go back to casings. Oh no, we have a good amount of casings. It's just that everything got backlogged. Well, at least I'm good on all clad sheets for a while, eh? Mm hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Now that we know that the fish was riding from the head the whole time, I don't think that's how that phrase works. Yep, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna go right here. And we're gonna say, alright. Fine, you wanna have you wanna have all clad sheets? That's fine. They go in here now. Flat aluminum sheets. Okay. Gonna go like that. And we undo this. And we do that. Oh, I did that in the wrong order. Because we need casing. Oh my. Okay, can I get some power up here, please? Let me, thank you. How much power am I using? Uh, around 20 gigs.
Okay, so let's do this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just drop off some of this concrete, as well as that. And you know what? Right next to the space elevator. Let's just get this over so I have this spot free. <laughs> can I, can I, I know I'm right next to power. There you go. Okay, so now we need to get things up and at them again. Means this. Uh, how best to do this? I'll follow it till I get to the first branch. Wait, <laughs> I pranked myself. I don't even know where this one is going. that going in here okay I think I still did this kind of in the wrong order But it looks like we are back in business on the RCUs. Okay. There's one. Let's just let's drop off a little a couple more things. Just don't have to worry about inventory space. Let's just erase this completely so I don't confuse myself. I feel like this has to be going somewhere though, right? Like where else are the casings coming from? See, that's what I thought too, but it just ends here. Oh, because I just I destroyed it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And then overflow. do the overflow in a sec, let this get through first, and just make an extra line for that to go out. Going back to Mark V default for now, because these are going to need it. Uh, get that put back on. Did I disassemble the wrong one? No? Oh, this was the heavy module frame, yeah. I did look at the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, we're coming back. Yes, we have plenty of heavy modular frames now. No. Okay. So that one comes here, la di da. Yeah, great. So I think that we're safe on those two splits now. Ooh. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, casings for batteries, yeah, I think that that's what this one is. So, here we go. Ow. Just got decapitated by my factory. Overflow. Empty out the inventory of this splitter. 
You know what? Let's just. This is the the best way to do it. In fact, we're just gonna do this for a bit. Let it go through the system. This one needs to go there. How is it now? Alright, whatever. That's fine. Okay. Let's just give you some of those. We're, we're clear on this side. Let's pass out those leaves. I don't want them. Okay, so we can upgrade these again. Okay, looks like we are cleared. Though I, I should put another smart splitter just to be safe. Facing. We're just gonna put in the box here, I guess. I don't really care. Okay. We're back to making fuse modular frames, batteries, RCUs. Things look stable. We don't need uh, aluminum casings for any of this, right? It's just rubber that we're hurting for. Okay. I can work on that. How's our power? Not good. Oh my god. Did I ever plug in the the new generators? Holy cow. <laughs> well, let's uh get these working, eh? Uh, okay. Oh, power, power warning, what? Yep. Oh, wow, look at that. Immediately. All right, there we go. Whew. Okay. Still need to build the last one, yeah. No, wait, hold on. Where are these all? I didn't even, yeah. Alright, let's just boop. This is fine. Constant state of chaos is what I yearn for. That's all good. We'll get there eventually. Let's go ahead and do something with your waist, though. Is it 10 per minute? I think it is. Yeah, 10 per minute. 
so we can use Mark Funds for it. Those are all going to the great bin in the bin in the beyond. All right. Oof. Owie zowie. What a eclectic series of events. This one's not getting enough staters, which I can easily fix. How's about this one? Yeah, it looks like that one's also fine, except the staters. At least now, if if it's not 100% efficiency, then there's kind of some redundancy in there. I know exactly where to get staters. Five more per minute. Get out of here. This one, yep. Alright, great. Congratulations. You're a stater donor. I think that should get me enough. At least for a while. Okay. Woo! Hey, we're 25% done with the magnetic field generators. So let's go fill up the pasta. The you know, pasta pot. Because of. Not again. How did this happen? I guess it must not have finished flushing out of the system. No, that one's fine. Is it just not getting enough? 13 seems like a pretty low number. Oh. Me dummy. Okay. That'll that'll mostly settle that. Those these are doing okay. Let's get this. Okay, these are green enough. Let's go ahead and uh, bump them a little bit up though. Nine. Okay. Now I want to make more of these butts. What do I need? Supercomputer, cooling system. That's easy. Easiest win of my life. Looks like I'll be going for four. Maybe not. That was a bit ambitious. Supercomputer, ECR. Okay. So supercomputers are going all into these. We're actually almost filtered out of them, which means that it's time to buy. Maybe buy, buy, buy. 
Okay, we got a thousand ADS worth there. Are we still producing at 100% here? We are. Something feels wrong though. If we have to make 4,000 more... No, we don't have to make 4,000 more because there's... 2,000 in the box. We've made 1,000. We have 1,500. We do have to make 4,000 more. Oh, that's 7 hours. I guess I will bump it up a little bit more. I don't know. That's another one per minute. At 10. So instead we're looking at 6 hours, which is better. Okay, well. Oh. Bah. You just don't have supercomputers? Okay, yeah, so we are down on supercomputers. Question is, how many do I buy right now? I have 38 coupons. I think that's going to be my best purchase for the rest of the game is supercomputers. But I'm going to have to build up the factory a bit more. Well, for now, let's do this. I'm going to buy three. Orders. And then... I'm gonna drop some in the box, and then I'm gonna have to just build more factory when I come back. I can definitely speed that up, though. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of... Take a little bit of this and that one, because they don't need to overproduce. And then this one can overproduce a little bit less. That's fine. Alright, so you can have another hundred. Yep, okay. And let's go get some ECRs. So few ECRs. Is this not producing at 100%? Oh, I'm using them for the um, uranium fuel cell, aren't I? Uh, that's not very much, though. So that's just two per minute. I guess four. Yeah, shoot. Okay, well, let's take out these power shards then. make more? That feels wrong. Okay, well, getting to 200 is the important part because... there we go. And then on my way back, I can check out the factory and see if it's possible to speed up. It's a swoosh. Swish. Oh god, lagged for a second on the world load spot. Woo. Okay, so... How are we on grid? We're fine, which means... Back to 100% with these boys. Unfortunately, I think they all have some amount of cubes. 
What do we have? 96. Nice. We're at 100. So this is going to be adding, like, oh, uncomfortably large amount of power requirements. So maybe I don't bump them all up yet. Because uh, I can afford... Oh, I can afford 10 gigawatts. Uh, okay. That's awkward. Okay. Oh wait, I just made that. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. So this one has not been split yet, I believe. Yep. Congrats, you have a new friend. Probably should figure out the logistics for all this right now. Because it's a little bit weird. Check the grid, yeah, we're fine. Okay. So I have a okay amount of buffer. 2,000 being burnt at 100 per minute means I have 20 minutes, which gives me like 10 before it goes out. So we're gonna turn this one to half. We're going to turn its partner also to half. Okay. Then this one is at 100 per minute being split in half, so same deal. 50%, 50%, great. This is still... Okay, so these should be 100% because they are... Is that copper powder constructor off downstairs? No? Uh... Oh, god damn it. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's awkward. Okay, so... That's fine. That's why we buffer. Okay. This one... Is just a straight... 100 per minute, I think? Oh no, that's... Wait, this is one of the... the Duels. Oh yeah, that, that goes to the back. Okay. This one, however, is a straight line. 100%. Great. This one, also probably a straight line then, because we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, five between those two, and then this one hasn't been turned off. Or ton turned on yet. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Five, six, and then now we can split another one in half. And we'll do it right here. Meaning that this can be brought to a half as well. Ah. Let's turn this side one to 50% though. Okay, so in total I've got six going at 100%, which is three per minute, because we have, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, three per minute. So if that's 850, five hours left. So it would finish like right before, gosh. Oh, I didn't grab the thing, did I? Mm, dang it. I can at least finish, figure out the logistics for it once it comes. It's gonna be a little bit weird. Maybe I'll wait till I can make two more of these? How much would I need to put them all in half? Oh, we got a nuclear that fell off.
Alright, let's go check the ECRs. Those finally went below 100%. Okay. Speaking of below 100%, we don't have enough deuterium. Okay. That explains a lot. So we got that faster. I could also set up more in the main base. Let's go ahead and set up the drone for nuclear pasta. I think I'll set up the drone for nuclear pasta and then we'll probably call it a break for the segment. Uh, I'm starting to lose a little bit of steam. And let's be honest, we're not getting all the way to the end of the run tonight. No, no, no. It's very tempting. Not with that attitude. Correct. <laughs> Avoid the invisible wall. Oh. That's not the jetpack. So that shouldn't get that. Let's do this.
Okay, let's just take them from here. Woo! That's a good amount of fused frames. Okay, and then we just need HMFs. Let's just take these. Mouse? There we go. Conversion cubes, though. What? Oh, they're in the drone. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Woo! Okay, it looks like I can already make my other drone ports, so let's go do that. I'm gonna need more iron plates. That was rude. Okay, let's see. Get more of those, more of that. Probably gonna need to get more copper sheets still, too. And I don't think that's gonna break anything. That might just slow down the cooling systems, which are already kind of overproduced, so I think that's fine. Yeah. I should have looked to see if I could make more of these. I just needed more ECRs. base here, holy. There we go. Of course correct. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're close enough to comfortable. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. There we go. Drone port. That's gonna take that, and then this is gonna get interesting. So we're going to build as if there are eight, and then we're going to have to split it up a little bit weird. Okay. And then this goes here. We'll see if that shows up. Uh, each one of the that's 100% is going to get a full one of these, even though I'm going to make a splitter. So I think this one's going to get a full, just like that. Let's see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. oh, I already have nine, oh, uh, okay. Right, because I've now confused myself again. Okay, main line, there are six main lines, yes, okay. So each group of three, yeah, okay, so then there's going to be a third one for this. I think, I think this one's also mainland. 
Yes. But so is the one in the back, so we're gonna do that one first. Okay. Then over here, we're gonna get to the other three. This one's a main line. Boop. Here's your splitter that does nothing. Then we go here, and you actually split to your compadre. Who I think was that one. And then over here. I think that's how the split works out. Okay. Because these. Yeah, and then which one did this split from? Split from this one, okay. So we're gonna do that anyway. And I think this one was still at 100% though, yeah? Okay, which means that this one. I shouldn't have put the splitter here. You get two thirds, congrats. Actually, no, that's, that's silly. Why don't I just... We'll just turn this one up to 100 as well. Maybe idle sometimes, but that's okay. It's a price I'm willing to pay. Did the drone just leave? Oh, it did. I didn't even notice. Okay. And then, oh, did it bring anything? Okay. Uh, da, 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 can't I see the... I you should be able to see... What's in there? Oh, well. Incoming is switched. Okay. So I think we're good. I can't make any more of these. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Let's get back to the base and then we will pause here. This feels like a good uh, pausing point for the run. can. What am I doing? Running around. Looking like a dingus. That's what I'm doing. Heavy modular frames and electromagnetic control rods, good to see you.
Yeah, let's make sure the batteries are working. Yay, all green. Set up the belt for the uh, the new drone port. All prepared to go into the spade, the spache elevator. Oh, there's 180. There we go. ADSs. Let's wait till all these filter in. What's happening here with the rate? Oh, <laughs> There we go. Gorgeous. Let's go stand on the space elevator to, to pause this one. All right. Save game. Pause. All right. And we are at pretty, pretty comfortable. About 25% done. Good split, good segment. 